What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're going to be playing Too Many Bones, a Dice Builder RPG. I am Rob, this is Melanie, and we're going to be tackling this giant game provided to us by Chip Theory Games, Too Many Bones. Alright, let's get to it, and let's jump down to the table and get this thing started. Alright, so we got all of our mats set up here. We have our dice tray, we have our adventure mat 2.0 where we'll track our progress, our day, and we see our tyrant Malmesh here. We have our battle mat set up. We have our character mats here. Uh, Mel is playing Patches. I am playing Picket. And let's take a closer look at Mulmesh here. So Mulmesh needs six uh, progress points uh, from encounters we reach before we can uh, fight him and take him on at least. And we have to do it in at least nine days. If we can mm. see the 10th day, we failed if we haven't beat Mulmesh. Mulmesh's uh, battle cues or our stacks of active baddies, sorry, are built up of Beasts, the bog creatures, and the scales, if those are the correct variety types. The game length looks like a 2 out of 6 here. Uh, but Molmesh was once human, now worgen. Molmesh has an insatiable hunger for that which he once was. Knowing that there is no going back, he lets that hunger fuel his fury toward any non-Ebon DeLorean who stands in his way of extracting vengeance. So he's ticked. Uh, Alright, so we're allowed to look at this card examine this card before we start, before we pick our gear locks, before we start encounters, start using training points and that kind of thing. So we're just gonna look at the battle here would be a battle queue, batty points. So how that works is we times it by whatever day we're on, times the amount of gear locks, that's how many batty points, and we pull from the active stacks, starting with the bigger stacks to build our queue. So obviously it gets harder at the bigger, uh, the longer the days go, uh, the bigger the queue gets, the bigger the baddies get. So his tyrant skills are he has frenzy too. If all of Mulmish's attack dice uh, hit, and that means they have no bones, uh, roll the attack dice again and add the total damage of both rolls, and then he has retreat. If he starts his turn at 3 HP or fewer, he is removed from the battle map and goes to the top of the batty queue. Mulmish's HP is restored once he rejoins the battle. Status effects such as bleed or poison may be applied before or after checking his HP, since they're in that same window at the start of uh, his turn. And he also has shrouded. Mulmish can only be targeted by adjacent units. So if you're using a skill die or a range thing, it, you have to be using something that doesn't require a target. If it needs a target, you have to be adjacent to him. Uh, his Tyrant die has two sides. Silverhide, Mulmesh cannot take damage from attack dice until the next turn. And Howl, all units friendly to Mulmesh immediately improve one spot on the any meter, but they cannot go higher than Mulmesh. So that's what's coming mm -hmm. eventually if we get there and don't fail horribly before that. <laughs> uh, and we are going to start on the, I guess, medium difficulty uh, heroic adventurer. So there's like a super easy mode when you're learning the game, then there's a medium mode which we're going to play when you kind of have a good grasp of the game, and then there's a normal kind of hard mode, how too many bones is meant to be played, that we'll eventually get to. But right now we're going to play on that middle tier. So we get uh, automatic one uh, health point added up. So I have six total health, so do you. Same, yep. And then we get one training point to spend however we want. Right off the bat? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I think I'm going to just take a dex for mine, which is automatic. I don't have to, to test for it or attempt to get it like attack or defense. You have to train and like roll some dice and hope you don't fail. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for attack. Okay. Okay, so I'll roll one attack die because I have one on my stat yeah. here to see if I pass. And I do. All right, so as long as it's not a bones. If it was a bones, she'd fail that and then she'd have to spend the training point in another category, and it could be defense, you could roll for that, or health or dexterity, or grabbing one of her skill dice. Um, but she passed. So okay. uh, let's grab our health. Uh, six you need for six. me, please. There Thank you. Go. you. And oh. six for me also. You can start building a pile over there for you yeah, yeah. somewhere. Thanks. Just some... Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we got our health under our gear lock. So gear locks are the little gnome. Troll, goblin, hobbit, mixed, big-eared race that these guys are. They love technology. They're, I don't know, they're, they're, they're different. But it's their own thing. It's their own world. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, but yeah, let's start it up. So we made an encounter deck already beforehand. Uh, we shuffled our loot, shuffled our, our troll loot. We're going to keep those off screen just to keep it clean and not as messy on the screen here. Uh, but if you want to grab our first encounter card and read it to us, that would be fabulous. All right. 
Only 12 hours till dawn and the send-off ceremony that will no doubt change the lives of everything remain of every remaining gear lock and likely every other life in Daylor. Weapons and supplies are ready to go, but the night is young and adrenaline fills the, fills the veins. It's clear no sleep will be had tonight. There's sure to be some shady peddlers lurking in, sorry, in dark alleys ready to deal in loot. Then again, some last minute training could pay a nice dividend in by morning. So what to do, what to do. All right, so we got some options here. Let's see. Uh, so on the back of the card, you get to analyze it and kind of decide. You usually have a choice. So our first choice here is non-combat by this symbol up here. Second choice is non-combat. First choice, we'd get two training points each so we can spend to do just what we just did. And the second one, you get one training point. But then we each get a loot card. So the first one is squeeze in some last minute self-improvement. So we get two training points and then shake down a shady peddler. You gain one training point and then each party member may draw two loot and choose one to keep. Hmm. And then we'd get one progress towards that six that we need to get some all mesh up here. Okay. Hmm. So I like the training points. Uh, me too. Loot's cool <laughs> I know, loot's too. good too, but... So you want to go training points? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, in the beginning, I like to get the training okay, points. Okay, training points it is. And that will be... So two? Yep, two training points. We'll throw this under mole mesh here. So mm. one encounter done. Progress goes up one. Okay. And training point wise, I'm going to test for a defense. So I roll two to start and hope for no bones. I got a bones and on defense training, I had to re-roll the bones one time and I was good. So I will go up in one defense up to three, and then I'll try my attack. So I roll one attack, and I passed. So I'm gonna go up one in the attack department. Okay, I am gonna go up one dex to three, and I'm gonna take my first skill die, which is med kit. So I will put this in spot number one. Perfect. Okay, so okay. now in recovery we can scout if we want. We can yeah. lock pick. We could. We're already full. So. We don't have any loot to lock uh, to trade. Right. We don't have any loot or trove loot to lock pick. Uh, so we, and we don't need to heal. No. So let's so scout. Scout. Yeah. Roll a d6. Go ahead. One. So you can look up to the one point body stack. So what do we get there? So we got a hardy and compound, kobold tracker. Okay, what do you think of this guy? You want to leave him on the top or you want to put him on the bottom? Well, I don't like the compound, but... It's only two health, but, but two he's hardy, health, so yeah. it takes two turns to kill him. Mm. But, I mean, it's not... But maybe getting him... Is he ranged? No. Yes. But maybe actually... Yes, he is ranged, right? Oh, sorry, yes, 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 yes I was looking at that. Um, hmm. But maybe getting him early is not a bad thing. Uh, so I'm, we don't get him yeah, when we have harder call. enemies. I think he's fine, but... Yeah, I think we'll keep him on the top. Okay, so I'll do the same. I'll try to scout. And I got a two, so only up to the one stack. So how it works is there's a one point stack, a five point stack, and a 20 point stack. If you roll a one to three, you can look at the one point stack, which we now have this guy face up because we scouted him. And then if you roll a four or five, you can look at up to the five point stack, but you can still choose the one stack if you want. And then on a six, you're allowed to do up to the 20 point stack, but you could instead look at the five or one. It's just up to. Uh, so I will look at the one. And we have a Dragon Hatchling, and this Dragon Hatchling has Engulf, he's 3 health, goes at 6 initiative, which is really early, he's ranged, attacks the weakest character, and he rolls, or one attack die, whoops, he rolls one attack die, so another range guy, only 3 health, and he has Engulf, which hurts other guys. I'm okay, I'll leave him on the top. Okay. Okay. So let's throw that off to the side here. Just keep it out of the way. Okay, All right. so that was the end of day one. Yep. So we will move on to day two. Move on to day two. Would you like to do this one? Yep. So this is the special encounter number two. We, like I said, we're only playing with core set components. Uh, if we had the Age of Tyranny or I believe the Undertow expansions, they add more of these encounters in at the start. But you always, when you're just playing with core set only of Too Many Bones, you're always using special encounter one through three are your first encounters every uh, playthrough. And one playthrough is from special encounter one all the way up to fighting your tyrant battle. So uh, let's go through the second one here. Hardly out the gate, 15 steps into the journey, 15 steps. And already a gear lock boot is stuck, struck through by an arrow. Luckily no toes were killed. 
Teeth are clenched and a painful tug is made while looking around in embarrassment. Yow! Now, sufficiently ticked, it's time to return the favor to the ominous figures at the edge of the woods. A commotion breaks out atop the city wall, interrupting all thoughts. Guards have now spotted the brazen intruders and are notching their arrows. Their help is at the ready. Like it or not, this adventure is underway. So, we have uh, Hall, Hall of the Guards. Hail the Guards for help, sorry. Uh, batty Q is Batty Points, and we'll do, show that in a sec. At the start of each round, arrows from the wall deal one true damage to each Batty. Recommended for first time adventurers. And then the second one is it's time to show Obendar what gear locks are made of. So, with Obendar watching, you feel an extra shot of adrenaline and you prepare for an unassisted battle. And it's just Batty Points. So you don't get the help of the every or all the baddies losing a health each round. And then uh, after either choice, if the battle is lost, place this encounter back on the top of your encounter deck. So you have to keep replaying this one over and over again if you fail. So it could clog you up if you fail. Yeah, and that wastes days. But it's going to give us, if we do the bottom option, we get an extra training point. If No matter what, if we're successful on either or, we get a training point and we each get a loot and we get one progress towards the uh, adventure. So... <laughs> What do you think? I think we could probably go for the battle. I say, well, they're both battles. Or sorry, the, the second battle. The one without help? Yeah. Yeah, so I say that too. Let's do the second one. Yeah. And all right. So it is baddie points uh, are the baddie queue. So it is day, day two. Two, two gear locks. Two times two is four. <laughs> uh, so you go up to the highest stack that will take. So we obviously can't take the five point baddies, what I'm trying to say. Because five doesn't fit into four. So what we're going to do is go to the one point pile next and grab four of them to fill in the rest of that four points. So obviously the top of the Batty Q is the Cold Bolt track we saw before. Uh, so he is going to come in at number one. And he has two health. So he's going to start in the range slot up here because he's a ranged enemy. And the next one coming off, oh sorry, his initiative is six. So he's going at the top of the order. Uh, why can't I find the six? So he's going to start at the top. There's our round marker. Okay. Uh, next is the dragon hatchling we saw. And he has three health. And he's coming in on spot number two. And he is also ranged. So he's going to start at the back here. And he is also a six. So and since he's coming in second, he will go next in the line there. Then, we don't know this one, but it is going to be a Clay Golem. These guys are dirty with break. Thank you, guys. Five health, two initiative, one attack die. And they attack the strongest creature. So that is going to go in number three. And five health on this guy. So we put our health underneath with the chips. And he's going to go in the melee spot on lane number three here. And I said he was two initiative, so he goes down to the bottom. Then coming in in lane number four, and you can only have max four baddies on the mat. So if there were more than four baddies in our baddie queue, they just sit at the side, and they would come in at the end of the round. Whenever we've eliminated at least one of the baddies, they would come in at the next open uh, lane slash chip here. So number four is a kobold green thumb here, uh, which has hardy attacks the strongest uh, gear lock, attacks for one attack dice, three health, and has four initiative. So let's get his initiative. So he's going to go in between here. And health is three. And he is melee. Hmm. So hardy. His keyword hardy means we can only in a turn, no matter how much damage you deal, it will all be reduced to one. So he has three health. So most likely it'll take three rounds. But I mean, if two of us attack him in the same round, that the most we can get off him is two. But then again, this dragon up here has engulf. And whoever he targets and hits, anyone adjacent to him, uh, not diagonally, but adjacent is just left and right up down here, uh, will take a damage also. So if he hits you for one or two, each neighbor will get one or two damage. That's rolled. Uh, he's only rolling one attack deck. Uh, over here we have another hardy guy. So same thing, one damage each turn. And then he has compound. So his attack die he rolls is equal to the round we're on. And if we're up into round... Uh, six and above, which is these fatigue rounds, uh, that it just counts. He maxes out at five, basically. And then over here we have break. So what break does on this guy's skill is for every time we hit him with attack dice, those attack dice get exhausted, and that then takes away for the rest of the battle from the amount of attack dice you can roll. 
Okay. Now we roll our die? Yes. Oh, you have an ability that lets you roll. Uh, yes. So I will roll all my defense dice. Because your innate ability is what? Yeah, my innate ability is called uh, Shield Wall. I'll get to roll the amount of defense dice I have, sorry. And then I can plop them all up here. To start. If they're bones, they don't go in my backup plan for that ability. They just, you know, are gone. But because I have all these defense dice up in my active slot, I now can't roll any defense dice on my next roll. But I only have a dex of three. I have attack two, so I can at least roll those two dice. Yeah. Or I could choose to take away one of these and throw, throw it in the roll and try to get something better. Right. Okay. So now we roll our now die. We, yep, we roll our initiative. So you three. got a three. So you so. pop yourself in between these two guys. Thank you. And I got a two. Oh, womp womp. wow. So I can choose to go before this baddie. Yeah, we're going to get pelted a lot before we get our turn to go. And now we decide where we want to go on the battle map. So I had a theory while you were explaining this whole situation. Mm -hmm. If one of us um, went here, we need to try to get uh, yellow. Oh, yeah, because yellow will go after us. If one of us starts here and moves up here, this engulf... We'll get him if he comes over. True. So I, I would think one of us start here, one of us start here, like that. Okay, yeah. So then we can move up before this guy goes so in he, yellow. So the engulf guy attacks the weakest character. We're both tied. But before that, this hardy guy will come at us, and he could make someone the weaker person before they get to go, which will most likely be the person sitting in this spot. Well, at the start, we'll both be the same, so we could say you because you have defense Well, no, guy. no, no, but listen. So this guy's going to come over first. He's absolute first. Yeah. So he'll come over and possibly hit somebody. Well, he's ranged. Oh, I see. Just stay there. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. And weakest. I'm so sorry. And I was thinking melee. Yep, you're yeah. right. Yeah, so I think it'll work. Uh, so I'll just go here. Sure. And I'll start here. So I have the defense dice. I'm more of the shielding guy. Mel is more of the healer. So that's how we're going to go. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay. So oh. starting at the top of the order here. We have the Cobalt Tracker going at six initiative. He is going to just roll one attack die, and he's going for the weakest. So we were saying... You, because you have defense die? But the problem is... Okay, that's true, and that keeps us equal. Right. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Boom, one. So I lose a defense dice. It's not optional. It is taking the hit. Okay, so he's done. Number two here, the... Dragon Hatchling, uh, one attack die. On, do you want to do you? Oh, okay, we have to wait one more round for that this to happen, but okay. If we say... If we, you do you, it's possible that it hits this guy. Yes, yes, and you would still be the strongest for the break to come towards... Yeah, well, okay. Well, he, he would just reach come, me because yeah. I'm closest anyway. So. Okay, so we'll say me. What? So one. So you lose a health, and so does Mr. Hardy over here. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And next is number four. This little hardy guy here. Uh, the kobold green thumb. Yep. So he's going to just attack me. Yep. With one. One. All right. And okay. next is you. Next is me. So I'm going to... So what's your recovery innate ability? Is that... So, yes. So my recovery means that uh, once at the start of my turn, I can heal one health up to my max. So I will heal one using that. I will then attack this hardy guy. Um, I can use two attack and one defense. I have three decks, um, even though only one could possibly get through. But So hit him for two, only one get through. So he'll lose one, down to one. Perfect. And then I have a bones for my backup. Sweet. Okay, now you. Okay, so I will go now, and then I am going to roll one attack die, because I have two locked up, but I have three total, and then I'll roll two attack <coughs> dice. Uh, but I might move first. Yes. I'll move first. Yes, good call. Uh, so that means I am going to... I will just roll... I'm going to kill the guy, but I mean, it wouldn't be the worst if I did. Uh, I will just roll one attack, one defense. Okay. So two, which puts him one away. So oh, no. So he hits me, <laughs> he will die. 
his engulf will hit him, and then another defense die. Well, hopefully it'll just at least... Here's some, some bills for you, too. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so now number two. Yep. This guy is just going to move. I'm the closest enemy. Yep. So he comes over, rolls one attack die, and it's one. one. And, oh, I lose a defense die. Awesome. Okay. So that's All right. Round. round two. Boom. All right. Starting with blue guy. Can't get me right there, so he's He's gonna... range. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Why do uh, I think this guy's He's coming at me, in? though. Uh, he's going for the weakest, yeah. which he's is you. attacking me for two, because it's round two. Yes. Uh, two. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing. He was actually probably somebody I should have went after first, but... Well, hopefully this thing... Oh, this engulf won't actually do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna... The engulf guy's gonna go, and he's going for the weakest which is unfortunately you, so our plan does not work. Whoops, sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, because he's range. Ah. Yeah. Dang. One. But he hits you for one and kills this guy, so he leaves an open path uh, for him. Well, you might be doing it on your own, but I'll see what I can do. So next is number four. Uh, uh, he's just gone. died. Yep. Yeah. So now me. <laughs> yes. Now you. So, so heal one, right? I will use my recovery to heal one. Um. Hmm. So you have three decks. So yes. if you move up to try to fight and golf guy, you will have one swing, or you could roll a defense die and just try to tank up. Maybe get bones, and you can use your heal gear lock thing. You could take out the engulf guy before he attacks next turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if you did die, this guy's attacking me. Uh, I, I wish I could get at this guy now. Though. Well, though you could move. Yeah, but that would take a few turns. No, you could move right now if I kill him. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you so kill him, I'll I can go after that, that guy. So yeah, that one, makes sense. Two. So using two of my decks, I have one left. I will just use an attack. Okay, going after the dragon. On the dragon, yeah. Two, so Boom. he's dead. He is gone. Okay, so then that leaves space for you. Because okay. he only has two health, so maybe you'd be able to take him out now, too. He's hardy, though. That's oh. the problem. That's why we should have focused on him. I totally blanked there. Well, if he kills me, he kills me, and then you can just... Okay, so I'm going now. So I will move one. Okay. And that leaves me two decks. Which I will just roll. Two attack? No, I'll do one attack, one defense. Mm. Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's hardy, right? Is that what you're thinking? Yep. So I hit him for one. one. I get a defense. Yeah, that gets him down on one left. Okay, and now this guy is going to move over. Yep. And he's going to attack for one attack die on me. Two. Ooh. That's why I roll those defense. <laughs> Okay, and then round three. Okay, let's see if I can survive here. All right, so he's going to attack me for three. Oh, yeah, because he doesn't care about the range. Tracker. Right, because you're right beside him. Oh, sorry, no, you're weakest. I keep thinking he's melee. That's my problem. Oh. He does not look like a ranged guy in the art, and I see this little X here. And I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, so he's going to attack you. You're the weakest for three now. Yep. Uh, ah. That is three. That means I'm dead. Yes. One, two, three. Oh. You KO'd. All right. Lose that. And if you had any locked or active dice, they'd be gone too. Uh, okay. Then I am going to go. And I think I will attack that guy. <laughs> uh, for just one. And I'm going to roll two defense die. Ooh, bones on the attack. That is okay, though. Because I got two bones, and now I have three defense, so I will choose to pop my bones, and I'm actually going to, now do I take out that compound? Yeah, I'll just pop the three, I'm going to hit this guy, even though he only hits him for one, but he's hardy, so it doesn't matter, he only has one health left, and I will, that is my damage, and he is gone. So you used your two bones to do a shield bash? Yes, shield bash, awesome. which is my backup plan ability. So the cool part in this game is you get misses, which are bones on your bones, which are dice. 
So you have too many bones, you get these, you put them in your black of plan, and then each gear lock has unique abilities that you can use those dice for once per turn and do things like mine is attacking with my shield, uh, I can reroll a die, I can gain some HP and get an automatic two shield die Mac to slot ready for some defense, or shield shock, which is like shield bash where I hit with my shield just like I did, except for it stuns the enemy also, so mm. great on bigger dudes. And what's your backup plan stuff? So I don't have anything for one, obviously. Two heals a gear lock for one. Needle jab does two damage uh, to my target. Fortune Discovery lets me um, acquire a consumable. And then Overcharge um, is the e-cell thing I've never done before yet. But oh, reduce the e-cells, the e-cells yeah, by one. Zap pack, right? And electrify any baddie for four true damage. I haven't <laughs> ever used that yet, nice. but... <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> so we've only played this game uh, two or three times now. So mm -hmm. we're trying to like uh, get ready to film this for you guys. So, if, But if there are any rules mistakes, we mess anything up, please leave them in the comments below. We appreciate it. Throw a timestamp in there if you can. It help us on the future playthroughs we do. Make sure we don't mess up as much. And it also helps people watching these in the future to kind of follow along and learn a bit uh, and learn the correct way. So check the comments below if you're watching this in the future. There might be some corrections down there for you. Thanks a lot. All right. So the next thing is uh, this one clay golem who's going to roll a attack die here. And that's one. So I don't have a defense dice anymore. That's the problem with the shield bash. Mm. Yeah, but, you need to build that up for him now because you're going to... Yeah, that's why I, do, I was debating on doing it just him right there. It doesn't but have to be your target. My, yeah, it has to be my target. target. That's yeah. when I stopped and was like, wait. But then I realized that other guy is going to hit for a... A big juicy attack next turn for, oh, four, for four, so yeah. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. I mean, I had three defense I could have left there to deal with it, but... But if you're going to lose them anyways, you might as well yeah, lose them killing This guy could have knocked away some of it anyway. Okay, so that's it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so now you're going to round four. Yep. And you are first. All right, sweet. So I will just roll. Uh, he's break, so he'll mess with my attack dice. I'm actually just going to roll three defense, since I have none right now. And I get one bones uh, and two defense. And then he will go and roll one attack on me. Hits me Ooh. for two. There goes my defense. <laughs> uh, then we'll go to round five, which is on the top here. Okay, so I will go. I will roll. Uh, that is not locked. So I'm going to roll three defense. Okay, got the bone. Got the two. And do you just do it for two while you have them? Mm. Before you lose them and then get yourself ahead of him for when the fatigue round starts? Mm, yeah, debate it. But or do you wait and No, I'll another... do it. Yeah, I'll do it. It just sucks because he's going to hit me next. Right? So then I'll, I'll still go down health. So me oh. taking him for two, he might still take me for two. And like, that's not a, ra that's not a good race. I'm not winning anything there. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's, it's a try. So he's down to three health. I'm still at five. And that shield bash is a really great way to get around okay. the exhausted so now dice. He is going. Uh, roll an attack. One. So nothing to defend. Okay, that's good. And then we'll go to the fatigue rounds. And we both lose a health at the start of each round going forward from round six and on. Uh, okay, so now I am going to. I mean, exhausting attack dice doesn't matter. I'll roll two attack and one defense. And there it is. Bang. Two attack gets rid of them. And the defense won't matter. It will be gone after the battle. So that kills, ends the battle. And we lose our active stuff. It does sort of appear. This guy's gone. Okay. And I will come back home here to my prep area on my gear lock mat. Okay. And we'll go back to round one here for future. Okay. So, so now we go to our rewards phase here. Uh, so we get our two training points. So however you want to use those. I'm going to start grabbing skill dice. And I'm going to go with shield or stand ground, uh, which is part of this little tech tree here. I have to go with the stars as part of my profession of captain. So I'll start with die number one. And it doesn't matter what I put it here has, but if I roll it uh, as part of my roll, I could then lock stuff up here, which we'll talk about if that happens. Uh, and then I will, I think I'm going to take a dex. Okay. And go to four. I am going to take a health. So when I take a health, I automatically get yep. one right now. Yes. 
And then I will take uh, fast hands, which is my die number two, so I can roll these together and I get times my health. Nice. So multiplies your med multiplies, kit, makes it yep. more potent for healing. Yes. Also, when I can get my med pack. Or your bone saw. Warm, and don't forget your toxins uh, for poison. Not my bone saw. It doesn't multiply my bone saw. No, no, no. But I'm oh, saying but yeah. eventually you can get it, right? Yes, yes. And, and then I want to get the toxins yes. too, yeah. <laughs> Please. Yes, yes, yes. Before the... <laughs> Battle. Okay, so, uh, and we got, uh, do we get loot? Uh, yes, we each get one loot. Okay, one for you, one for So me. I got mixed berries, which is single use, and this single use says, heal yourself for 3 HP in battle or 5 HP out of battle. Plump, juicy, nourishing laxative. <laughs> I'll put that right there. All right, so I got this uh, to Warren gem. I don't know if that's how you say okay. it. Uh, merchants will offer you a trove loot chest in exchange for this gem. Replace this, ca replace this card with a trove loot during the recovery phase. Which is right now. Uh, this does not take the place of the recovery... Sorry, well, we'll this does next. not take yeah. the place of your recovery phase options. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so now I guess... So we're done yeah. the reward phase. This yep. will be another progress if you can put us up on the progress there. Yep. Okay. So now we're in recovery. Now we're in recovery. So I will give this to the merchant. Get some trove loot do I, going. Do you want me to put them on the bottom? Yeah, just throw them on the bottom. Okay. So I get a trove loot. Awesome. Put that right there. And. Want to lock pick a temp? Or you're going to heal up? Like I. We can lock pick a temp no matter what. Yeah. Uh, uh. Might as well. Yeah. So you can try on it first. What do you need for this thing? Let's take a look. Here's how lock picking works. So we start with lever, trip, and force. Three locks here on our lock this loot. On the back is some cool treasure. So she's going to take an attempt with the lock picking dice, like a little mini game. And she's going to try to get three lever to open the first lock. Okay. So you're rolling three lock picking dice plus your intuition dice. So you're looking for three lever. Yep. Uh, you can totally reroll all of it on your first attempt. Every lock picking attempt, your yes. first lock you're attempting, you can re-roll on the first roll automatically. So you can take all those dice and re-roll them if you don't like them. Because right now you got a plus one in save, but I don't see adding yeah. one to any of these dice. You're not getting three lever. I will take that option to re-roll all of them. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, so there three lever. Three lever. So you can exhaust that to unlock the first part. So grab a... So what we're going to do is, because my loot's on the left side here, just because the way the mats are lined up for the camera purposes, and we're not going to play with these little red dots where you like line up little lines. So we're just going to throw gold tokens on the card to show that one lock has been opened. You can just throw it anywhere on the card so we can still see oh, okay. the locks. doesn't matter. Just, okay. Yeah. Uh, so then I need three trip and... I'm so you need six trip, actually. Or six actually. trip, sorry, sorry, so six. So then you have these dice to go with, because that one's already exhausted on this yep. attempt, so you can... Uh, Roll these ones. Do you roll? Yes. Uh, All right. So I need six trip. I got none. And you uh, can convert the type of one of these. It's three F, two F, like two fours, three fours. But converting one of them to a trip doesn't get you to six. No. So, that's so it tough. doesn't matter. So that's it. Well, okay. My turn now. I can try on your loot. Yep. Uh, so I will try for your six trip. And since my first attempt, if I bomb this first roll, I can do it again uh, automatically. So One. we're looking for six trip. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's not happening, so I will re-roll. Two. Mm, no. I'd be one short. If I converted this three to a trip, I only have five trip. Mm. This so is hard. not enough. Oh, yeah. Six is high. Six is high, yeah. Okay. So that's okay, that for lock save picking. That for next time. Uh, I am going to heal up to my six health. As am I, because I only have one. So and I'm going to heal to my seven. So six, seven. Okay. All right. So uh, day three. Day three. And we'll read special encounter card number three, which is the same basically every time you play. And this is crossing the Silbron. Silbron. The Cibron River, a glistening vein of trade running the length of Daylor, playful beckon, playfully beckons as it shimmers in the daylight up ahead. But with so few bridges in these parts, this crossing is an obvious spot for enemy scouts and traps. A journey of this importance leaves only two options, tucking the ears and trying to blend in this risky but blend in is risky but efficient. A boat at dusk carries less chance of discovery but requires business with the Molnor. A trading syndicate with their own set of drawbacks. So the choice on this guy 
non-combat, non-combat. Hmm. So you tuck your ears and walk like a commoner. So you roll a d6 for each party member. On a 1 to 2, your party's spotted. Find the first tyrant encounter in your deck and place it on top. Shuffle the remaining cards and keep them underneath. The encounter's success is achieved no matter the outcome. Or you can hire the Molnor. The Molnor is surprisingly easy to work with. Not only do they uh, drop us safely on the east bank of the river under the cover of darkness, they also offer a troll loot gift. Gift is in quotes. <laughs> Maybe our success is good for business. Shuffle a special encounter, Molnor traders in your encounter deck, and so you get a troll loot. You get one progress. Either way, if you it, on this card, there's no fails here. Uh, so we get an extra encounter shuffled in, uh, or we risk the chance of Mull Mesh's Tyrant uh, encounter, which has been shuffled in our encounter deck. We would have to deal with that next automatically if we are spotted. So one, we get Trove Loot. One, we get an extra progress, which speeds us up to getting to uh, Mull Mesh, which might buy us a day. And we get a training point. I like the first one. Mm-hmm. But it's a... I like the first one, too. Okay. So the whole risky business of yeah. it. <laughs> All right. So let's try. We're going to try to tuck our ears in. Our big-ass big ears right here. And we're going to try to... Try to hide with the... We're going to try to hide. So a D6. Right. Uh, so on a one or two? One or two, I'm spotted. It's okay. a six. I'm good. I'm good. No pressure. No pressure, right? One, no! <laughs> yeah, you're spotted. So uh, in the encounter deck, if you can just grab out the blue card that's shuffled in there. And... Oh, it was... Oh, it's one away, so then put that on top. Easy okay. peasy. And don't peek at the rest. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, so, that's all that happens there. We get a progress. And okay. an extra one for completing the card. And so we only need two more progress to get to Mole Mesh to start fighting him. Uh, then we get a training point also. So, for my training point... Uh, while you're thinking about that, I already know I'm thinking about taking an attack. Okay. So I'll just roll my uh, two attacks, see if it's successful, and it is. Nice. So, so I'm going to go with two. shield form, my die number two, uh, which could get me a locked automatic plus one to my defense going forward. Okay. Uh, and that's that. So that's our reward phase. Do we get a loot or something? No. no. Okay. Oh, is that your training point? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so I will put that under mole mesh there. Okay, so we're going to day four. Uh, actually, we oh, go to recovery. the yes. uh, recovery phase. So we can try some more yes. lock picking on your lock. All right, so we're still looking for the six trip. All right, I got three, Ooh. five, and then this one you lets me... You could convert that uh, force to a trip. Then you have more than enough, but you're using all these dice to just unlock that. But then I get to yeah, go and try it. that's so. exactly what I'm going to do. And so the next is what, three fours? Yeah, so I'm going to use this to make this into a two. Okay, so the second one unlocked. So I will take my yeah. lock picking attempt on your troll loot. And we need three fours. Bang, oh, right there. Oh, sweet. So flip okay. that bad boy over. What did you get? So we got a small spotting scope, which show is, us, sorry, us. which is permanent. Sorry, I can't <laughs> read like that. Okay. Okay. So it says, outside of battle, reveal a one, five, or 20 point baddie in an active stack. You may immediately move this baddie to the bottom. You, uh, usable once per day. And it's permanent. Whoa. So a small spotting scope. Wow. So you pick any stack. You yeah. don't have to roll dice. Yeah. It's like a scout. Yeah. But you pick any stack you want and move it to the bottom. And we can use it once per oh, day. Oh, you may immediately move it to the bottom. Yeah, you may if we don't like it. Same as scout. So we, yeah, we just leave them on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Don't expect to observe the grace and majesty of a griffin without spotting without a spotting scope. Shalefish Almanac. Yeah. If you see a griffin, that guy is disgusting. Get him. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Just so <laughs> we'll put that there for later. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we don't need to heal. We can scout. We can scout. Mm -hmm. this die? Mm -hmm. So I'll go first here. A six. So I can do up to a 20 point. I'll just do the one, though. Mm. Maybe a five? Cause we're no, gonna I'll do be, the five. I'll do we're going to be revealing a five. Yeah, you're right. I'll do the five. And it is an owlbear. He's inspire one. So he makes the next guy go automatically, jumps up in the uh, battle queue to attack next and has one extra attack die. And then terrify. When you attack him, you take a terrify token. Then you're basically not allowed to fight him while you have that token uh, yeah, for a turn, basically. Okay, so he's going to go to the bottom. <laughs> I don't like this guy. All right, I'll go next. And I also got a six. Do so you want to do a five? Yep. All right. Oh, oh Lashback. Oh, he's so Direwolf. cute. Six health. Four. Yeah, he's a little puppy. Lashback two. Four attack for dice. four. It's heavy. Heavy hitter. Sure. On the bottom he goes. <laughs> okay. They're all heavy hitters. It's five point baddies, right? Okay. okay, so and then also outside of battle, we can do this once per day. 
All right. right? So, so what do you want to reveal? Another five? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the manticore. My goodness. This guy's poison worse two, than the rage other. two. So poison two means uh, he has no attack dice. He just automatically hits you for poison two. Goes on top of you. You deal at the start of your turn after you have poison two on you. You take two damage. It flips to poison one. So at the start of your next turn, you take another damage. So three damage off of poison two die. But every time he keeps attacking each round, if it's the same person, he's just going to keep switching that poison one back to a poison two, and you'll keep taking two damage at the start of your turn. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, and rage two means if he doesn't have his full health. He automatically starts rolling two attack dice to hit you, so he's less bad while he's at full health of six. But once you start attacking, he's trouble. And he's ranged. And he hits both of us. Yes, and he hits both of us with the poison too. He's disgusting. Put him on the bottom. That is, yeah, I, I don't like this guy at all. Bottom okay. he goes. So that was done. That's who we're hunting for, that guy. He goes on the bottom. Okay. All right. So, so that's that was all it. we need to do in our recovery phase. Day four. All right, day four, our first encounter. What is it going to be? Hopefully it's not the tyrant card. What do you know? It's a tyrant card. All right. Tyrant counter. The scent of a gear lock. Uh -oh. So you don't have to be a ranger to sense when you're being followed. When your stomach instinctively clenches at the hair uh, and the hair on your ears is at attention, there are probably eyes on you. What can be done? Well, nothing in this case. Too much time would be wasted trying to reveal this pursuer. And yet, after a few hours, paranoia starts to set in. It feels like there are more eyes watching you with each passing moment. Shadowy figures slip in and out of the trees, always hidden, but they're in the corner of the corner of the eye. What are they waiting for? So, no choice, only option, non-battle. Uh, another stomach knot. This is becoming all too a regular feeling. Search your active stacks for the first beast type baddie and place it on the tyrant card uh, that will be added to the tyrant battle. Party size of one to two, which is us, search for a one point baddie. So we're looking for a be first beast type baddie. Active. Oh, active means the ones we haven't used yet, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm just discarding them until, until I a find beast. a beast. There he is. This little direwolf puppy. Aww. He's going to be thrown on Molmesh's card here and added to the battle later. And it just makes our battle with Molmesh worse. If correct baddies are not found, search baddies you have already defeated. Draw another encounter for today and reshuffle this card into your encounter deck. Okay, so we're so not going ahead in the day. We're just getting a new encounter. So draw card. the next one, and then I will shuffle this Perfect. in. Just do it under the table so you don't see. Because yeah. the weird thing is that tire encounters, they didn't make them the same color. So it's like it's very easy stick to stick out. But what we do is we shuffle it under the table, and then you put this card on top before you look at it. And then we throw it over in the little holder on the side so we can't see uh, from the side if there's a blue card coming, you know? Okay. All right, spread too thin. Raiders to the right of us, raiders to the left of us. Well, not us, but a poor merchant party following the distant river path at the bottom of the valley. Let's go get them, someone yells. But get whom? The raider's already at the end of the valley, about to overtake the merchants? Or the larger party forging a longer route dangerously close to us? All right. So two options here on this one. We've got a combat choice or a combat choice. <laughs> one will get troll loot. One has nothing extra. When we finish this card, if we're successful, Ooh. we get two training points and a loot each and a progress point. So... We can't save them from both. Set the traps for the larger group. So it's baddie points. Party of one and two, we add two one-point baddies on top of the queue. So okay. right now we're on day four. four so eight. Times two is eight. Plus. Then adding two, two. one-pointers on top. So we'll okay. definitely have to kill some guys and more guys will come into the battle. Every bad baddie loses two HP as they enter the battle mat. So some could so die. So them hitting the traps. That's interesting. Or... Take them all. So this is how you get some trove loot on top of all that juicy stuff. This mm -hmm. is the greedy option. Mm -hmm. Take them all. Sound the horn. Baddie points. Then a party of one and two, uh, which is us, adds two one point and a five point baddie to the top of the fatty queue. Whoa. If successful, all recovery phase options may be chosen rather than just one. So we can scout and heal and toss loot and look for better loot if we wanted to. Do we want to get greedy and get some trove loot? Or we think we're going to fight Mulmish soon anyway because we are... Oh, we're still two progress away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, two progress Crazy, right? we're already at day four. Yeah. Yeah, we only got three. Right? Yeah, because one got shuffled back in. Oh, uh, but that was just... Sorry, oh. just double... Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, there it is, the extra. Yeah, oh, sorry, okay. four. I saw only three cards. I was thinking how many progress points we have. But we had, I want to have two on it. Uh, hmm. So this will bring us five, and then we still need one more. Okay, what do you think? Hmm. Greedy would be we have to fight an extra five-point baddie, Maybe which we know of Manticore's on the bottom, suck. but is there another Manticore in the game? I don't know. 
I mean, it will test us to see if we're ready for a boss battle. Because we would get, <laughs> we're at eight. So that would a five point baddie, three one points, fill up the board, then two more ones and a five come in. Or we do this top option, say screw the troll loot, which we may not even get to unlock anyway, but you see how awesome some of it can be. I know, right? It's hard. What do you want to do? We could take our chances. All right, let's take our chances. Let's do it. Let's risk it for YouTube here, for and you this, guys. This one goes on there, right? Oh uh, yeah, sorry, this goes on him. All okay, right. Okay, let's see. So we're going with the battle points. So, so we're starting off with a five in the batty queue, yeah. and then three ones yep. go underneath, which we don't know what they are. So the five goes on top. Then we do the rest of it, which is add two one point baddies and a five point to the top of the queue. Okay. Okay. Now we have our queue. Uh, let's uh, see. We can put it right here. Okay. All right. So starting with number one. Uh, oops. Before battle, let me roll oh, my yeah, defense yeah. dice with my shield wall ability. All right, so just one defense, two bones, whatever. Sometimes that's how it goes. Right. Okay. So Sometimes first, it's just enough. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, so first guy here we have is a stone golem. He's got break and corrosive. So if he rolls a bones, he will burn through the rest of your damage or uh, defense dice after he, he takes uh, the rest of them with attack first. Seven health. Three initiative, three attack, two defense side. This Week guy's a beast. Seven. This guy's a monster. Jeez. Uh, okay. And you got rid of that one guy who was lashed back to. It was nothing. Four dice only. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So let's go seven health. Wow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number one in his melee. And he's three initiative. Two, three. Wow. Break. So he's a guy I want to ignore, but he's hitting for three. No, you got to get your shield stuff going on with him. Yeah, but yeah, that's I don't know. But he's got three shields or two shields. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Uh, so uh, the next one, yeah, uh, maybe in trouble here. So this guy's got rating, so he's gonna get uh, an extra attack die for every other orc that's on the board. He has okay, three well let's health. hope that there's not very many. And he's range, he's going lane number two. Four, so he's on there. Okay. And then we got the Griffin Yearling, who has two going in lane number three. He is ranged, two attack dice on this guy. He's got flight, so every other turn he's going to be untargetable. And where's the five? So he's going first so far. Okay. And the other five point baddie. So at least there's only one points after these coming in. We can survive so another this. flight and dive guy. This guy will dive and attack the weakest guy. And he's got signal one, so he's going to bring another one point baddie to the queue. Uh, and he is uh, going in four. He's melee and has five health. Yeah, maybe we weren't ready for this. Yeah, this is crazy what we just did for some trove loot. I don't know. Well, maybe in trouble. Let's see. Let's see where we go on this. Oh, yes. So I'm four. Four, that's good. That's not bad. So uh, I slide right so in there. So I can go as high as five, I think. Five, yeah, but looks like three and twos are the most common. And oh, it's a two. Oh, that's rough. Last. Okay. Hmm. So starting with number five. Well, rough. we got to go on there. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so my plan obviously didn't work the first time. So do you have any... Well, this guy is going to bring another one-point baddie, but he has to go before any of us, so there's no way you can really kill him and stop that from happening. No, and then he's going to be in the air. Yes. So... Just can't really get him. Can't get to this guy in time. He goes very first, and he'll be flight also. And he's... Oh, he's melee. Sorry. Melee. Melee, melee, range. Okay. Hmm. So there's no way to get him first. There's no way to get him first. So we can get this guy, who is not hitting for extra. There's no other orcs yet, but I'm sure orcs could be coming. Yeah, but do you really want to put yourself... I guess that guy's going to go for the... Uh, he's he's gonna... going after you, but like, I don't know. I can roll yeah, the defense know. dice and try. But I have one to start. The problem is being in the middle of these two guys to hit that raiding guy. Ooh, you're going to get hit from both sides. Well, this guy's going to dive down to whoever's the weakest. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's not terrible. Mm. Uh, I feel like this guy's going to move... 
Anyway. Which guy? So this guy will move and attack no matter what. Oh, I'm trying to think where to start here. I start here. I don't get to attack this guy. He attacks me, but only two dice. I don't know. Where do you want to start? I was thinking maybe here. Okay. Maybe. My thought is I'm not going to be able to hit anybody right now. That's sucky, though. Well, I, just, well, I figured I'll use my time to roll these and get them ready. Because you can, you can put that in your active slot? Oh, no, this one I can't, but this one I can. Sorry. So what? I could roll this. This one is immediate. Or, oh, okay. But this one I can put in my active. You're and then I you could put in your lock. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I locked. And then I could roll defense die. One, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, having a waste of dex to move and attack somebody is kind of rough. Because like, you have dex three. Yeah, but this guy could move. So I could be here, and then he's going to move anyways. If you're the weakest, he's going to dive to you. No, he only dies when he has a flight die on him, so that, that won't happen until the next turn. He has to have flight on him to dive, and he's not going to get flight till after he attacks. Oh. But he's rolling three attack dice to start. So if you're right here, you're going to get smacked by him, but then you can't smack him back anyway. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So one of us is wasting a dex to hit somebody, so you could move up and try to attack this guy, and I could just stay here and yeah, get Yeah, I can do that. Guy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, we'll see what happens with this. This is going to be rough. Yeah. Okay. So, number five, this guy comes down here, melee attacks two on me. Whoops. Uh, so, two. I'll lose one. Take one. Okay. And then five. This guy is going to move here. Okay. He's going to roll you three. For three. Whoa. Wow, six. I have one. Yep. Wow. Jeez. Wow. Uh, our luck is not going our way. We were too risky on this one for sure. Wow. <laughs> okay. And it's my turn? Yep. So I have to roll both of So you of heal these. one at the start of your turn. Oh, and this guy's this guy's flying now, right? Yeah. Put a flight die on him. Same with this guy over here, actually. Thank you. Okay. So I'm definitely going to roll my heal because... Yeah, you can just chill back. Don't waste dex. Uh, didn't I... I, should have I put one on you. Oh, for my turn. Okay. Yes, right, yeah. for okay. your innate ability. Yeah. Recovery. Yeah. Um, can't attack, so I'm just going to roll defense. Yeah, roll defense dice and just, yeah. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, bones. so I can take the bones and I can heal myself for two times two, so four. Okay. We'll see. I mean, it sucks wow. that I have to use something Yeah, right off like the that, start. But I didn't know I was going to get, and those are exhausted. Okay. Uh, that is you. And then number four, this guy is going to go for the weakest, which is me. And he's rolling one. And I get hit for one. Down to four health. Okay, then the blue. This guy is rolling three attack dice, two, two defense. defense. Okay, so he hits me for two. Down to two health only. And then he, corrosive, doesn't matter, uh, because I have no defense dice. And that's that. Wow, rolling low initiative is rough. Yeah. Uh, okay, now my turn. Mm -hmm. I will roll defense three. Actually, I'll roll two defense and both my... Uh, uh, skills, yeah. Hopefully just preparing for the next battle after we bomb this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got him actually. So plus one regen going forward. I'll, I'll, I'll heal a health at the start of turn. And then uh, plus one defense automatically. I get a defense die here and a bonus. Okay. Okay. Uh, I could use mixed berries right now to heal three HP. But I feel like it's like a waste in this battle. But it's the only chance we have. But then if you get knocked out, I'm not Surviving. Oh, we forgot signal one. Uh, so this guy puts one in the queue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we still need to fight four more guys. Yeah. Hmm. And like survive them. Wow. Yeah, I feel like if we fail this, we just don't get any of this stuff and we just lose a day. 
because it doesn't get shuffled back in or anything, so it'll be a new encounter going forward. Right, and we don't get the training. Or so sorry, I, I feel the, like uh, I don't want to waste this. Yeah, yeah, so save that. So let's just see how far we can get. Okay. Uh, all right, back so to round the top two. Of the round. Uh, round two. All right. So yellow, uh, he just attacks for two. So that comes. Oh, he just keeps after attack it comes off. So a one and a one. And you have one defense. Yep. Uh, and you two. Have that, yeah, so. automatic in this one. Okay. So I don't take any. And then he loses a flight die. Okay. Now green, uh, this guy, he will dive going for the weakest. And he'll come over here. And then he'll attack for three. Oh, man. Uh, three, which I block one and take two. So I am knocked out. Ugh. Okay. So me... And this guy's no, so no longer... So healing left, Yeah, that seven. guy's no longer flying. Okay. Okay. What am I at there? Full One, two, should three, be. three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay. So, I need to use dex to fight somebody. Try to get those bones so you can get your major recovery going. <laughs> so, like, if you think you're not going to make it, like, just roll shield dice is your best chance of getting bones. And surviving, really, if you're just trying to survive and get bones. I mean, you're going to take four attacks. I need one dex. Okay. Roll two die on this guy. Yep. And hit him for two. So he's down three health left. Okay. Uh, purple is going to attack me for one. Yep. Nothing. Bones. All right. Uh, uh, blue. blue. So he's going to move one, two. Okay. He's going to roll one defense dice and three attacks. Okay. Two. So he's going to be for two. One, two. And he's got another defense to put on him. Yeah. And then the corrosive doesn't matter because I don't have any. No defense dice. No yes. defense die. Okay. So, so round three. Same yellow. with yellow. Uh, so this guy will go one, two, trying to get around to get you. Okay. And then, and then he's going to be in flight, right? Or uh, no, because he didn't attack. No, because he didn't attack. Okay. Then and this guy... Green, yep. He's going to fight me for three. That's four. four. Oh, this is supposed to go away, sorry. Just down to one health. Okay. Well, I'm next, so... So then you heal one at the start of your turn. Yep, and he's in flight now. Yes. Okay, so... And while he's in flight, he's in the air and he's untargetable. One... Two. I'm gonna roll two attack die, one defense die. Oh, on when I get knocked out, I lose these, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoopsie. Uh, so I'm gonna attack this guy. Oh, so silly, he's got break. <laughs> so maybe, you roll maybe defense get, dice, I don't have to. I don't have to hit him if I don't want to. I can Correct. roll one defense. Oh, that's right. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, there's gosh. bones. Okay, there's a bones. Um, so you so lose I two can... out of three of your attack dice if you want to spend it. But it, it's on just his shield. Yeah, so do I just reduce his shields? <laughs> uh, yeah, because I think it's only... No, cause, uh, yeah, I'll just reduce his shields. That's fine. Yeah, but do you lose the dice, though? Because you got break. No, uh, no. Or is it only when it hits him, like, damage gets through? I feel like breaks whenever they take a hit, which you are hitting because you rolled successful. Oh. Uh, wrong reference sheet. Break. Any attack dice used to reduce this unit's HP must be exhausted. Yeah, so okay, that's so yes, you're just taking okay. away the defense dice. Nice. And then I have two, so I will just use my two bone. Oh, do I just try? I won't make it another round. Yeah. So you just I'll just heal, heal one? one, yeah. I can heal any gear lock for one, I'll heal myself. Okay. okay. So, uh, Purple. He's going to roll one attack die and hit you for one. one. Okay. Oops, sorry. And Blue, this guy, three attack dice, two defense. Two and I'm dead. Ah, uh, I'm dead. There's two. <laughs> so you lose those. Wow. You're out, you're out. And yeah, we failed uh, this one. So let's just throw it up here. Let's discard it. Wow. Uh, so these will go back here. These go back. Uh, so these guys will just throw the one pointers back on top of the stack there because we don't know what they are. Uh, these ones are going to go on the bottom. Yep. There's all, it's a five. 
and a one, and a five. So let's just throw these guys on the bottom. Of well, the we were stack. too ambitious for that one. And these two on the bottom of the one stack. Yes, definitely too ambitious. There's a signal on top of that. Like, we didn't even get to the guys in the rest of the queue. Just getting that extra five point baddie is not, like, we're not ready for that. Perfect. Okay, so all these will come off. All right. This will go back to one. Beautiful. Okay. okay. So now we go another day. Uh, actually, we're in the oh, recovery, recovery phase. Yeah. So I, I think I'm going to heal up. I'm going to heal too. I feel like that's one, a thing. Two, three, four, five, we'll go back six, to six. Seven. Uh, we can't scout because we just healed. Yep. Uh, but you can do that. Yep. So let's reveal a five. <laughs> so you got a seven health, six initiative, engulfing, weaken two, dragon, delinquent, ranged, two attack dice, two defense. And weaken is on when he rolls a bones. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. They're five points. This is what they're all about. Seven health. Uh, well... But in golf, in that golf, rolling two yeah. attack dice hits people around us. Yeah, I like that better than some of the other the five top. pointers, so yeah. And he doesn't fly, and he doesn't yeah. have break, and he doesn't have hardy, and yeah. compound, and all these other ones. Exactly. But weakens annoying. Two, weaken two, but only when he rolls bones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Day five? I think five? we're done everything we can do. We don't have any troll loot. Don't want to trade any loot? No? Mm, it doesn't matter. Okay. Day five. And let's see the next encounter. Not the blue one. Sorry. All right. Fire in the sky. A breeze pushes through camp, leaving a hint of sulfur tickling your noses. With the next gust, it's quite obvious that something is on fire, and it seems to be us. Rotten noggets, someone exclaims, followed by a commotion of gearlocks frantically pat patting out single hairs and sidestepping falling branches full of blaze. A spatter of fire is raining down upon us, and in a frenzy we run for what little cover we can find, knowing a dragon has us in its sights. We just saw a dragon. Are we going to have to fight that guy now? <laughs> uh, our options are limited, as uh, other unwanted guests are now pouring in the, in the clearing. We need to do something fast, or we are toast! Uh-oh. All right, dragon! We fight back. So choice number one, we get an extra training point. It's a battle. Choice number two, battle. Probably easier, no training point. But automatically, if we win... Two training points and a loot for each of us. One progress point. So let's read the first one. Dragon, we fight back. Baddie points are in the battle queue, uh, which would be 10 to start. In round one, only range gear locks take their turn, which is none of us. Skip all baddies and other gear. Oh, only range gear locks take their turn. Skip all baddies and other gear locks. Okay. So I guess we start off, yeah, just like get, a, get an attack in. And then party one to two, you add a five point dragon baddie on top of the battle queue. So we'd be fighting three five-pointers. And we know one of them is going to be this engulf guy. Mm -hmm. Might not be the worst. Uh, then if a 20-point dragon is eliminated, which isn't going to happen because we don't have enough gear locks to get those baddie points, shuffle the special encounter hunting the hunters into your encounter deck if not already in. So that's not going to happen. The second one is keep your head down. Keep to the battle on the ground. Batty cube, batty points. During battle, fire rains down from above, burning all gear locks one true damage at the start of every round. So, yeah. But we don't have to fight the extra baddie. So no five-point baddie, but this one, it's like... We're losing a health every round. Yeah. Which is okay for me because I recover a health every and, round. Yeah, and I could if I get my die going, but, but that takes at least a turn, maybe two or three turns if I get unlucky. What's your first instinct say? Try the first one. Three five points is pretty rough. So that's three training points. But like we just saw, that what, what had trouble we had with two five-pointers on the board. Maybe go number two. Keep it safe. Don't lose another day. Try. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go the second one. Yeah. Okay, so we had an issue there setting up the battle. We did something incorrectly. We missed something at the start. So we're just going to set it up again here uh, through the magic of editing. Uh, so we're doing the second option on the card here. Battle queue, batty points. So it's 10. We know the top one. It's our dragon delinquent that we scouted with our scope. Yep. Uh, so this will go in spot number one. And, or lane health. one, sorry. Seven health. And he's ranged. Golf. And then weaken two with uh, his backup plan ability there. Okay. And the next one is a 
Griffin Howler, and he has five health. Going in lane two with uh, melee. And he has three attack dice, has the flight, the dive, signal one, bringing in another guy. And it'd be nice if we could go before him, but he's five, so it'd be, I have to roll like a five to do it. Do you have a five on yours? Nope, four is my highest. Bah! So I gotta get a five to get him. Yep, you're uh, gonna roll some defense though first, before we start? Yes, I was almost forget that. Uh, three defense dice, one defense, two bones, useless, okay. Uh, well, so you roll first. Going for the five. Oh, oh two. Wow. Three. Yeah. I find like the initiative rolls make it or break it. If you have like a good run in your encounters and you're rolling high initiative, most of them, you do better, way better than if you're rolling bottom of the barrel every time yeah. for an encounter. It's just like you're all struggling. Uh, okay. So next is putting our guys on the board. So the engulf dragon, I like the idea of I'm weaker than you because you have seven health. I have six. Yep. So I can go beside this guy here, and possibly we can hit him with some golf. Okay, and then I think I'll, I don't want to be beside you, so I'll start here so I can try to get to him. Mm. I don't know. I don't want to be beside you. Yes, and then at the start, so that's ready to start the round, so yep. we take one true damage each. Yep. Because fire is raining down from above and hitting all gear loss. Okay. Uh, okay, and now number six is going to roll two attack. Two attack dice, yep. two defense. Yep, on uh, you being the weakest. Okay. So, two. one loss here, one loss there. One shield. And he gets one defense on his and die here. he did roll a bone, so you are weakened Weakened to... too. Is that on this die or one over there by you? One over there by you, I think. Uh, it would be one of these other dice, not oh. the same kind, right? There's four of each different kind. Uh, so I'm weakened too, so I have two less decks on my next turn. Great. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Purple. Uh, purple is beside me, rolling three attack die. Uh-oh. And he's coming after me because I'm the weakest. Yep. And I have no defense to protect me. And three. I get hit for three. Wow. So, yeah, I'm in trouble. Once your damage start next round, I'll die. And now he signals somebody in. Oh, yes. So and he's one point. Flying. We're at the bottom of the queue. And he's now flying. So we'll dive down and attack the weakest next. Okay, so it's my turn. So I think heal I'm going to heal recovery. one. Yep, yep. That's sorry, your turn. I think I'm going to roll these heals for you. Sweet. In a defense for myself. Okay. I can roll, have a dex of three. So you can Ooh, heal two up. To nine, nine okay. but to your max, so your max Unless is... you want to lock that, but that only helps you with this, right? Yeah, okay, so, it won't, so it won't matter. I'll just go up to six. Yeah, and then I'll take the sh uh, shields. Okay. Okay, okay now, now you. Me. So you have two uh, less decks. Maybe just roll some defense. Yeah, I guess. I'll try to roll this regeneration thing. Actually, I'll just do only two decks, right? Uh, oh, this guy hit you for uh, this. Oh. Because he was in golf. He yes, hit you I forgot for, about that. I don't remember. I think he hit you for one or two because you had defense. Two. Uh, so two would have been burned off of this guy next to us. I almost forgot the engulf. Wow. We got two of us here. We can probably catch everything, but if we don't, leave it in the comments <laughs> below, please. Making it harder for ourselves. So I'll just roll my two ability dice. Sure. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe. It's like I could just get reusable bones. Which I got the defense one. So I get one defense automatically around. I'll just return this one back. It's and a this bone. goes down to one? And uh, no, it just goes Oh, it's away. just a goes away. Yeah, right, right. It's not like poison. It's not a counter. Uh, okay. That is me. End of the round, uh, we got to bring in our friend here is a clay golem with break. Five health, one attack die, goes in at the bottom of the queue. And, oops, Number wrong three. one. Number three. Yep. Bottom of the queue. Coming in lane three. Oh, no, right in front five of Five health. But he's only attacking for one attack die. True. Hate break. Yeah, but you just ignore the guy and eventually he just kind of goes away. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so we started the round, we take lose the health. Uh, yep, each gear lock will lose, whoops, Woo. lose the health. Damn slippery regular health, not the premium upgraded <laughs> health. Okay, 
Uh, All right, so blue guy. Blue guy. Rolling after weakest, which is me, to attack one defense. Okay. With engulf. So let's remember this. Yep. So three. three. One gets blocked. Two goes through. He weakens me again because he got a bone. Yep, and you hit the other and guy for two. And he hits the two. other guy for two. Even though he's not targetable, he's flying the air. It's okay. The engulf isn't targeting. It's just like kind of splash damage. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now the bird... He's right beside you, so he doesn't have to dive to you. Correct. Uh, so he's going to attack for three. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is rough. I'm just distracting him for you. Just an engulf target here. All right, so two. One gets blocked. Okay. One goes through. Okay. And Bones doesn't do anything on this guy. And, and now his die comes off the top. He is no longer flying. He's down there, vulnerable. And now your go, you will heal up one yes. with your innate ability at the so start of your turn. So that's full for me. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is use two decks, one, two, to move here. And I think I'm going to attack just this one because I only right have there. one die left. Yep, so I'll attack sense. this guy while he's landed. For Perfect. Perfect. Boom. He's gone. Sweet. Just one less three attack. And he goes to the five point discard pile there. Okay. Beautiful. Now you. And you're weakened, so... Oh, uh... Yes, yeah, so we'll roll this die. Try to get some healing every round. And get round. some defense. And, yeah, all defense, all day. You're, two, you're weakened by two, though. Oh, yeah. I'll just roll a defense die and my ability die. I hope for the best. Yes, I got my healing, if I survive that long. Okay, and a bone. And a bone. Womp womp. Okay. okay. That's me. Yellow. I could do this heal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So, you can hear yourself so for how many? I'll stop for a second in the corner here and chew on some laxatives, <laughs> aka mixed berries. <laughs> laxatives. Uh, if you can discard that there. <laughs> and three health in battle, right? Uh, yeah. Five outside. Oh, and this weekend's no, that's gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now yellow. Uh, um, so he's going to tag you for one die. One. Boom. And, oh, I have uh, shields. Nice. So, so take it down to one. Take it down to one. Perfect. Okay, and start of the round. Uh, start of the round, each gear lock loses one true damage because the fire is burning. Okay. All that right, should be round six. three now, though? Correct. Yeah. Round okay. three, number six. Two attack die, one defense. On you, which kind of sucks because there's no one beside you, but... Oh, yes. But that's okay. Yeah. Holy All right, so three. two go through because one gets auto-blocked. Yep. Wow. Those berries aren't doing too much for me. You would have been dead if you didn't eat them. Yeah, but then you get hit and we hit break guy. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And okay. Then now me. If you yep. can heal me heal for one. one. All right. I think I'm going to go for engulf guy. Yep. Three die. I just need to survive so I can keep these locked dice up here. But Yeah. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Uh. I'm not going to kill this guy, but... Uh, so three die on engulf. Mm -hmm. Uh, three. Go so through. one defense, two health. He's at five left, which is huge. Okay, and then you, you're going to heal one. Uh, yep, heal one at the start of my turn thanks to my little regeneration dice here. Yep. Okay. And you want to just shield yourself? Nope. Hopefully stay alive. I need to get beside him so he hurts himself. So I'm going to move one, two... Okay. And so you have two decks. Two decks left. Then I will just roll defense dice. Okay. Because I don't like. What's he at? Five. So even if I roll two twos on attack dice, still alive. Yeah. I'll let him hurt himself. Of oh. course, bones. Wow. That sucks. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's me. Yellow guy is just gonna attack you for one. One. And one. Oh, I have a shield. I have a shield. Oh, nice. Okay. Round four. Uh, lose lose a health. A damage, or take a true damage, sorry. Okay. Uh, blue is going to roll against you, so two and two. Well, he rolls a bunch of bones here. You want to be weakened? Oh my gosh. Three. Yeah, so I'm dead. 
So he hits himself for two, right? Because three. you block one. No, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. Oh, that it's doesn't matter? Me. So he takes three damage, though. Okay, that's helpful. And then he has two shields for when I hit him. So I lose these. Oh, oh so rough. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah. But now hopefully this engulf guy, I don't want to kill him because I want him to kill the other guy. So let's roll one defense to attack. I'm not going to get anything through, I doubt. We'll do it on this guy because I don't want to lose my attack die yet. Mm -hmm. All right, so two bones. One attack will just remove one of his shields. Okay. And then, oops. And then yellow guy. One attack die. Bones. bones. So nothing. Great. Perfect. Uh, so round five. Yep. So I can lose a health. Yep. And then this guy. So two attack dice, one defense. Okay. So he hits me for two. And it will kill him. And it so will hit the. You lose two, yeah, right? Yep, yeah. yep. The break guy will get lose two as well. Ah, yes. He's beside me. Perfect. And that shield doesn't matter now. Okay. And that goes away. Okay. Let's go so over five points. My turn. I will heal one. <laughs> oh, do I do it? You guys are both gonna start losing health. You're gonna lose two health. No, I need next a bone. So I to if I get a bone, I can needle jab and I can oh, target damage. Yeah, so I stick the target for two you don't damage. Lose attack dice you're just spending bones to do it. So I can only roll one defense and two attack. We'll see what happens yeah. on him. All right. Yes. Here's yes. Yes. But I think I but will take all. You yeah, it kills him. For three and kill yeah, him. Yeah, that kills him. Oh, over. I wanted to needle jab him. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. But is there anything you could spend the three bones on? Well, I you could can heal, heal myself first. for one, which that would put me what to five. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. So I'll spend two. To heal myself, because yeah, so that, that wouldn't order. have been there yet. Okay. Spend two, heal myself to four or five, and then I'll use those three to yep. help hit him and kill him. And then he goes to the one point, discard. All right, so we did it. Okay. Woo! Nice. <laughs> uh, throw that back to one. All right, let's find out what we get in the reward phase here. Uh, two training points and a loot each. What do you want? And one progress. Point? So, whoop. So does that mean we're at him now? No. Oh, no, we have we to get to the more. red. Okay, okay. So two training points. Uh, well, so I'm definitely. Oh yeah. So training points. Uh, I'm gonna try for another D. Ooh, I will just take this. No, I can't take that one yet. This is it eleven? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take die number eleven. My confidence die, which has a bunch of. Like extra damage and another two damage on it. It's just like another defense die. But I can put it up my active slot. Oh, I can take the toxin. And let's go. Okay. Uh, I think I need to try for attack. Yeah. I feel like, or maybe defense. Uh, three defense. No, let's go attack. Good. That's good. So going up to two, three attack total. Okay, I'm gonna take my. Are you done? Yep. I'm gonna take my bone saw. Nice. I'm going to also take my toxins. Yes. Which could do poison. Perfect. Some extra uh, damage output from you. Awesome. Yeah. Can you <laughs> uh, pass us each a loot? Oh yes. So I got a multi-tool, three uses. During anyone's lockpick attempt, add one to an action die result. What'd you get? A red minnow tour. Uh, ignore one bone when making a training attempt. Yeah, single use. Okay. Ignore one bone when making it. Oh, so if I... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get say it. say ignore it, and then I still get the defense or the mm, attack. Okay. okay. I don't know. I'm not too happy with both of these, but... No. We can try well, we to can, pitch them. Yeah, but I think... One, two, three, four, five... Okay. Uh, so now on to the recovery phase. I'm definitely healing up. One, two, three, four, five. Nice six. Hmm. Two. I could heal two. Or you can do a scout, or you can pitch your loot and try to find something better. Or you can do that whole... Yeah, roll. Uh, 
Search for a loot. Discard one loot. Roll six attack die. For each bones you roll, reveal a loot card. You may keep one. It's pretty juicy, but there's a risk you could lose that loot. But I mean, I would do it in a second if I didn't have to heal right there. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll try. I roll six attack die. Yeah. Two, four, many bones. You can look at that many off the top. So you could find, like, pick out of the top two or three, maybe. Or none, none at all. And you just lose the loot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's a one in six chance of getting a bones on these attack deck. <laughs> so it's a little risky, but I mean. That's how this is going to go. I yeah, get it. That's I all good. That's, okay. That is a rough play. Right? <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay, okay. What day are we on now? So now we're, that we're done, so we're going on to day six. Yep. And we have till day nine. Yep. And we need six progress before we can attack them. So we need one more progress. Hopefully we get it now. And then we have a few <laughs> options here. All right, so this is blinded by the light. Let's duck in here, our scout says, as we all dash for a cave that's well protected from the torrential downpour. As we wring out our drenched clothing, we realize the narrow entrance is open into a large cavern. We are surrounded by dusty barrels of unknown origin. There is an opening in the ceiling that seems to have caught the only ray of sunlight in the middle of this storm. Suddenly, in the center of the barrels, a large chest with an ornate lock is revealed by the focused beams from above. Uh, the ornate lock reflects the light rays into your eyes, making it hard to look directly at it, but we also can't seem to look away. So is it some juicy lock picking loot here? Let's find out. So we have two non-combat options. Awesome. Oh, okay. So let's try to open it. You draw the top trove loot card, select a gear lock to perform a lock pick attempt. If they manage to solve all three locks, like your lock gains, unlock trove loot. If unsuccessful, discard the loot. So you, you got like a one-time shot at it. Hopefully we that's get a trove tough. loot that's like two, 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 but I doubt it. Uh, or check those barrels. Choose one to four barrels to destroy. Roll a d6 for each barrel's HP, uh, which is their strength, and set it on the battle mat in order of strongest to weakest. Each gear lock takes one turn to roll total attack dice to destroy barrels in the same order. Each gear lock can only attack one barrel. Total barrels destroyed equals total loot gained. Encounter success is achieved no matter the outcome. On both of these. Choose one to four barrels to destroy. Roll it. So, okay. So we'd obviously choose two, I guess. Roll a d6. That gives it its strength. And then we take a turn to roll... Our attack die, whatever it is. Yeah. And if we destroy it... Total barrels destroyed. So we can do four. We roll a d6 each. We put them in, and I assume you roll your attack dice. If you get any extra on the biggest one, it spills over to the next one? Is that I don't think so. No, you just target one, right? Maybe it depends on how many players you're playing, right? Ah, uh, yes, true. Okay. I don't know. I say we choose the barrel one. Yeah, let's try the barrels. Yeah, because this one only lock? one gear lock gets to yeah. try. Yeah, Ian to get the whole lock done in do. one attempt. I do. Drain one's lock pick attempt. Add one to an action die result. Three uses. Hmm... Your call. Uh, I say the second one. Second one it is. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that too. Okay. So two barrels, right? All right, two barrels I say, yep. Okay, so I'll roll so for roll one. roll a d6, sure. Well, let's just roll four. two. So four and roll another one. Two. two. Okay, yes. So four and lane one here. Let's do two and lane two. All right, okay. so we just get your lock. Uh, nice. Roll a d6, so health, yep, and set it on the battle mat in order of strongest to weakest. Each gear lock takes one turn to roll total attack dice to destroy barrels in the same order. Each gear lock can only attack one barrel. Total barrels destroyed equals total loot gained. All right. So, who wants to attack? You have three attack dice, I have three attack dice. Oh, I can just try first on the first sure. one? Sure. If you miss, do I attack the second one? Or do I have to attack yeah. that same one? Uh, it says in the same order? Each gear lock takes one turn to roll total attack to destroy barrels in the same order. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I don't destroy it, I think you have to attack that one too. But I mean, I could knock some off of it, so. Oh, two. two. Uh, it was four, I put five on it. But yeah, so anyways. <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Here okay. we go. So I'm attacking the same one, yeah. I guess. Boom, Three. done. Okay. So you get one loot. Go ahead. That's your reward. And then we each get a training point. And we also get the last progress we need to now, if we want, fight. Mulmish. Okay, so I got mechanical assistance, single use, increase your dex by three for this turn. Oh, cool. Single, single use. use. Nice. Okay. So on to... So in a training point, oh, you, you said... Oh, you forgot we... to do that. 
at the end of the last one, didn't you? Uh, but we can do it now. We're outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. still the same day. No, at the end of the last battle, you didn't do it, right? Yeah, but I have to do it outside of battle, and I can use it once per day. Yeah, but I don't think you did it. Okay, anyways, uh, let's just go we're at, at the end of this one. So sorry, one sorry. training point. Yeah, okay. As a reward. I think I'm going to go Jeez, up an HP. Four. I'm going to go up a dex. And I'll get a health for that. To four. Seven health. Okay, I I'll use this to look at a... F we're going to go to seven. I'll look at a five. It is a hardy compound, cobalt elite, melee. Oh, compound. Uh, five health. So you'll stick around probably for five rounds, maybe less, maybe more. It's going to be under five. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, yeah, eventually. Okay. okay. Uh, he attacks two people, though, every turn, too. Uh, bottom. Bottom it is. It's a tall stack still, so. Yeah. Remember those other guys we were fighting that we lost to? They're at the bottom there. They're now getting pushed up. I know. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, so... Hey, we can scout still, right? Yep. I didn't heal. Do you want to heal? Did you need to heal? Nope. Uh, no lock drinking attempts. I'm actually going to do the whole toss my <laughs> loot attempt here. So okay. six attack die. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> oh, uh, you did go. <laughs> so this goes discard. Uh, mech pick. During your lockpick attempt, you may bypass a lock of four or less without using action dice. <laughs> that would have been nice it's, last yeah, turn. Yeah, a little better, but yeah, I'll just, sure. <laughs> okay, right, so you want to so try on your, oh no, that's not that's bad. That's not actually. bad when yeah, I need I like to roll one. all that kind of stuff, that's yep. fine. Especially for the boss. Um, so you could go up to seven decks, three, four, five, six, seven kind of thing. Mm -hmm, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so scouting. Do I want to heal? Do I want to give myself two? Well, here, I'll scout. Uh, no, I just did that thing. So you can only scout, right? Because I just did this attempt. Yeah, but I just am beating if I want to heal. How much would you get? Two? two. Yeah, maybe so. You get one at the start of your turn. Yeah, but what if I go after they hit me for like yeah, a true. bunch? I'll, I'll heal for two. Okay, so no scouting. That's fine. No, I'd rather have the oh, Okay. All right. Good? So here's the choice. We could go after Molemish now. Well, it, do we have day to? Day seven, so, yeah. Day seven either way. Okay. So that gives us three days to fight this guy, or we could take another encounter, see if we can buff ourselves up a little more, get some new stuff to go into the fight. But it does add another day to the counter, so that could add more baddies to the mix. Right, making it harder to fight him. So we could just go fight. after him now and take an attempt on him. If we lose, yeah, never mind. Hmm. Do you feel ready? Way. I think maybe we could try because we could try way. and then go back to this if we failed, right? But then there's only one, one day. risky day after that mm -hmm. to, to try all in. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, I think, I think we might be okay. All right, so we're going for mole mesh here. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. So it's day seven. seven. All right, so this little guy is on the card. All right, so a baddie points. All baddies on this card are placed at the top, add mall mesh to the bottom. So baddie points is 7 times 2, 14. So we're going to do two 5-pointers. Then we're going to do four 1-pointers. Oh, gosh. On the bottom under the 5s. Okay. Then we add this guy to the top and mall mesh to the bottom. Wow. And we'll just refresh on all of his stuff. So mall mesh has Frenzy 2. If all of his attack dice... Are no bones. He rolls again a second time and then takes all that attack together. If it hit you good. He has retreat. If he starts his turn with 3 HP or fewer, he's removed from the battle mat and goes to the top of the baddie queue. While much his HP is restored, once he rejoins the battle, status effects such as bleed or poison that happen in the service turn may be applied before or after checking that 3 HP business. Shrouded. Malmesh can only be targeted by adjacent units. And then on his tyrant die, he has silver hide where Malmesh cannot take damage from attack to ice until his next turn, which is why I'm trying to get shield so I can bash him. And then Howl, all units friendly to Malmesh immediately improve one spot on the inning meter, initiative track over here, and cannot go higher than Malmesh though. So that is our current uh, current battle here. So this is our queue, and this is his dial. We'll just throw this here. Okay. And let's start building it up. So a little dire wolf pup goes into slot number one for three health, attacking for one. He is melee, and goes at three. three. Baddie number two. Six health. He goes at three. And he is a melee. 
Uh, Kobold Fanatic. Attacking right. for three dice. Right. And he will have Hardy, but he also inspires. So he'll make the next baddie in the queue jump up right after him and attack with one extra attack die. Okay. And that's melee. Another five pointer. Poison two on this guy, no attack, so he just does the poison two. He's a bog frog, six health. And he is ranged, attacking the three weakest, so he'll hit us both every time. Uh, six health, and he's going to number three. So that guy needs to go away. Mm -hmm. And then at one point is this little griffin yearling who has got the flight to attack dice business. And he goes to number four with melee. Okay, that's good. The one that has Inspire is going last, so that's not terrible. Uh, You're right. going to roll so, some attack yeah, die? Yeah, uh, I'll roll my defense dice, actually. I mean defense? Uh, that's three what I mean. <laughs> Whoa, Oh, yeah, juicy. there we go. For the boss fight, best roll yet. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Three. So, so it's a good thing you heal because it makes me the weakest still, right? Because I yeah, have... Yeah, because you're one less. Oh, no, I have seven. Oh, we're the same. You have eight now, right? No, no. you... Oh, we're the same. Yeah. Damn it. That's okay. okay. Uh, all right. And you roll yours to see where you're going? Oh, yes. Please give me that five. Three. three. You want to go before me or after me? I'll go before you. Okay. And where to go? So hardy dude, three attack dice. It's going to take a long time to get that guy off the board. Yeah. Flashback one. Hmm. That guy's nothing. That, that poison guy's, guy's got to go. Yeah. So poison two. He attacks everybody. Okay, so he is first. I mean, I'll go up there if you don't want to, but somebody's got to attack him. We need to get rid of that yeah, poison, too. he goes before too. us. So he's going to hit both of us with poison, two on us. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. I maybe can kill the pup and get him out of the way and run up there after, but... So you yeah. want me to go up for the... If you want, yeah, yeah, go there and then see what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Ready to do this? No special damaging us at the start of the round or anything. So we're going to go with five. This guy is going to move up to melee, attack for two on me because I was closest. And he only gets one in. I'll take it off with the defense dice. Okay, and now he's flying. And he is in the air, untargetable. All right, yellow dude, poison two on both of us. Uh, oh, I think I have one. Hook me up with some poison. Okay. All right. Then me. So you're going to take poisons? Yep. Take it down to one. Lose two. You, your shields don't block True up? damage. Oh, no. true damage. Poison oh, okay. is true. So I keep telling you these toxins are supposed to be because they get through those those guys' uh, defense dice and their thick skins and stuff. Okay. Uh, then I will... So I got two of these up here. I'll leave them up there. So that gives me one. Four decks. Throw this. And two attack on the pup. Uh... You know what, let's leave the defense one behind for now. And I'll roll the attack one. I'm trying to take the pup, the pup off the board. Yeah. Kill him without the lash Three. back. Done. And I got it. Yes, and, got and the heal. regen. Nice. Yes. Heal at the start of my turn going forward. Perfect. So pup is gone. That means somebody's going to be coming in at the end of the round. Okay. So that was blue. And he'll go to the one point baddie Power. discard pile. All right, now your turn. So I'm going to lose two and heal one. So we'll just take one off. Yep. Put your poison die down to one. And then I will use one dex to move up here. Oh. I will then use three attack. I have four dex, so that's good. Three attack on poison dude. Uh, before you roll, is there a point to rolling that? Does this get you, like, more... Oh, it goes up to three. Yeah, but... Two threes? Yeah. How important is this guy to take out, or you want to save that for a future attack? I'd like to save it for a future attack if we have anything with break or so anything like that. So this guy a... is... Six. Six. And you're going to roll three attack dice. You definitely won't take him out rolling those three unless you get three twos, which would be super lucky. Or you could poison him also. Yeah, with the boss coming, I thought. Oh, you want to do it on the boss? I don't know. 
I mean, having poison on the boss is not terrible. True. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying your options because yeah. you know, he's a five point baddie, poison is for two, and he will do it again. So our one sitting here, at the next round, he's just going to throw him back to two again, and we take two damage at the start of a turn. Well, I could use is this the boss instead. Do that bad, as much damage to us? I don't know. I could do this instead. Yeah, I was just saying, if you're trying to take him out in a turn, you have more potent attack, is all I'm saying. You could raise your decks, too. I know you say you want to save that for the boss, but, like, will we get to the boss this time if we don't get this guy out of here? This guy's still attacking for three. It's going to get in my way. I won't be able to attack this guy anyway. He's, by three. He's actually going to attack you for three. Mm -hmm. Are you going to live? <laughs> I don't know. Your call. But I say we go, go ham. Okay. Yeah. Rolling three. All right. Maybe you'll get five and we'll take him out in one shot. That'd be amazing. Then we just take I one need damage. six, right? Uh, yeah, six health, sorry. Three. Wow. That was such uh, a waste. Unless you don't want to spend that. Oh, yeah, I don't, don't have, have to, right? To. Okay, yep. so no, I'll just spend two. Okay. So he's down two. Yeah. Cause there's... Worth the shot, right? If yeah. you've got a three on one and a two on the other. I right. can do that, right? Yes, 100%. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, then a three guys going next. He's going after the strongest, which is you. Yep, three die. Three attack die. And he will inspire the next guy, but he's the bottom, so it doesn't matter. Two. Okay. All right. So now the next guy's gonna come in. The yep. bottom of the it's a little one point. Global with Tracker, Hardy oh, and Compound. Okay. Uh, coming in in one. But, oh, it's open. So he will get two health. Is he ranged? Yep. Oh, okay. He's going to protect the poison guy up here. And he'll just come in the bottom of the cube. Okay. And on to round two. Uh, so the flying guy is going to attack for two on me. I'm right there. And I'll lose one of my defensive dice. Okay. He will lose and his flying. And then yellow will just poison us again. Yep. Back to poison two. Gross. Myself, I heal one at the start of my turn and then get poison for two, so I'll just lose one. Go down. And then... Go for the flight guy, get him off the board. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. Party guy hitting for three is going to wreck us. Oh, yeah, he's just going to try to... This compound guy is going to start hitting for more. But, I mean, I'm trapped here, so, yeah, I might as well try to hit the flight guy, like you said. <laughs> I guess you could... Uh, or you hit the... Har oh. Hardy guy, I'm only going to take one off if I just... Unless you want to roll some defense play, stuff. But then I'm still getting pinged by two for this guy. Yeah. Uh, I might try to do both. Okay, so let's do two attack die. Let's do this die. And a defense die. Okay. Or let's do this. Yeah, it's just your regular defense die. And who are you attacking if you hit? This guy. Okay. This is my target. All right. All so right. I got some extra move if I want instead of defense. Do I want to be running around the board or do I want some more defense? I feel like defense is what I want. So I will just throw that back there. I get a bone. And you hit him two for two. attack. Kills him. And he'll go to the one. All right. So now you. You will so just, just lose, lose one. one yeah. Because you have the heal. And you'll go down to poison one. You need to make that guy go away. Okay, so I can roll four. So I have attack. I got my red sword and my... Yeah. Two on poison guy. So There's three, a three. four, five in one shield. So it's your choice what you want to spend, but well, to kill him, yeah, you're going to need to I'll, spend the bones. I'll just, yeah, I'll you do might that. Might as well do it all. Yep. So, so that gets that exhausted. One. Those come back. One shield. Okay. So that is gone. Probably should have rolled I'll some. Use one of the five point health. pile. Hopefully that didn't kill me that I forgot. I should have used this and rolled my health Ooh. as well. But I mean, we could say you had it and you just roll it. It's like separate. I mean, you lose the loot anyway. Like yeah, we just roll these two. Yeah, I'd say just do it. 
I'm getting past that. What is your choice? I can heal up to six. Uh, yeah, three, I'll heal myself full heal. to full, yeah. Four health. Mm, you're exhausted. Sorry, I forgot I had that. All good. Even though we were talking about it, I'll do that next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Uh, purple is going to attack me for three. Strongest. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to hit me for four. F uh, three, because I have one defense. Mm -hmm. guys hitting the both of us. Oh no, only one, only one. Sorry. He's got a single. So it's round two. So he's hitting for two attack die. On the, the weakest. weakest. I have four oh. and you have four. I'll, I'll say I'm the weakest. I have okay. two defense. Sure. Thanks. One. So one. Uh, nope, I don't have that right now. And oh, and then you'll lose your shield? Oh, compound, not close. No, no, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry. No, no, no. Uh, okay. End of the round. Let's bring out two more baddies. So in line, lane four, we uh, get. Is this one there? Yeah. Uh, lane three will actually be the next one. Lash back oh, with a direwolf pup. Three, not bad, not bad. Okay. And he will just go actually to two. Okay. Because he's melee, so he'll try to just get the next melee yep. spot in line. Go to the bottom of the queue. And one point baddie before mole mesh. Little poison tube bog frog. Four health. Uh, going in lane four, melee. Bottom of the queue. Okay. Uh, round three. Hey. Uh, start of my You're turn. You're first. Oh. I will just lose this and I heal so like nothing will happen. Yeah. There. Yep. Uh, all right. Hmm. Wish I kept those feet so I can move over to this guy without losing decks. Does poison get around Hardy? No. No. Nope, nope. Yeah, no matter how amount of damage you hit somebody for, you could have like my shield bash plus attack plus whatever would all just, on that turn, just all of it gets reduced down to one. Right. No matter what. But if he's poison at the start of his turn, he That's instead of taking extra two, damage. he would take one. Correct. And then it would go to one and then he would take one. Yeah. On his next turn. But on your turn, on our turns, we could hit him one, hit him one, and if he had poison on him, that would hit him one on his turn. Right, okay. So okay. he'd lose three. Maybe that's a smart idea. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I did that there. Let's roll. Uh, let's just defense die it up. So I got one lock, so I can roll two. And I'll roll this. You want to attack the hardy just yeah, in case? Yeah, I will, I will. To get one? Oh, and he can inspire now, too. On his turn, but he just inspires the next guy, right? Yeah, but it still gives him an extra attack die, which will be this blue guy who already has three attack die. So he's actually the most important guy on the board right now, I think. So he'll be rolling four attacks. Yeah, I can't get around there, so I can't deal with him. All right, so I got my reusable defense every turn. Uh, I got the one attack off this guy. And two defense dice. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're next. So you will I, just heal yeah. one and then lose your poison, whatever, in whatever yeah. order. <laughs> Evens out. Okay. So we're going to do one defense. Mm. We're going to do... You're going after Hardy guy? Oh, or should I go after the other guy? The other guy's oh. four attack. The other guy I could possibly take out. Yeah. And I'll be beside this guy, so it'll just attack me next. I have like four defense yeah, ready to go. Yeah, I'll use one dex to move up. Yeah, I say he's I'll like a threat right now. One shield, three attack on Hardy. This will bring in the boss if I kill him. At the end of the round. At the end of the round, yeah. But I mean, and then we just have to kill the boss, right? Yeah, to win? the boss is what we need. To, you, you don't need to kill all these enemies. The boss is really who we need to kill only to win. All right. So, yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> so you get some heal there in your backup plan. Oh, man. So you didn't kill so him. So I hit him for one. Yep. One shield. Oh, he's hardy anyway. Oh. So you yep. did what you needed. Okay. That's perfect. Great roll. Um, <laughs> I'm just debating. Healing up right now? Healing one more. 
Or you can heal mm. any girl arc, right? You can heal any. Yeah, maybe I can heal <laughs> you. Well, I have a bunch of defense. I, I don't know your call. No, right. you, I'll you heal do. myself yeah, for you one. Do, you do. Yeah, I was just saying you always have the option to yeah. heal me also. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so purple is going to hit me because I'm right next to him. Yep, three attack. And it's three. So one here. I'll lose two. Okay. And Bones. then he will inspire blue to go right away, like we said, rolling uh, four attack dice. Why is it he gets an extra one? That's what inspire one means? Yeah, that's what inspire one means, one means yep. And he He's will attack, attack the weakest. Oh, which is also you. Okay. Shoot. Sorry. One, two, three. three. So, so block, block, and one damage. Okay. And a bonus is nothing for him. Okay. And then, and then the pup. Little puppy. Uh, it's going to me here, which is nice because it'll block that guy from getting around. And he'll just roll one. Hopefully it's blocked by your shield. Yes. yes auto block. Okay. Boom. And auto green block guy sounds like a transformer. And it's going to go <laughs> here and here, just trying to get around the path to me. Yep. Uh, end of round. No, I didn't kill him, so he doesn't come Oh, in. correct. Yes. Okay, yes. so we have one more. Okay. All right, so round four. All right. Me. You can heal. Heal. Woo! One. Start of <laughs> no my turn. Poison. No poison on me yet. Okay. Hopefully that heal with your shield, the uh, reusable shield, might keep you... Yeah, that's what I've been looking for. Every battle I get it, and then I die right away, so it's like I never have had it help me yet. Yeah. But now's the battle when you need it. Uh, okay, let's go. I don't really, like, want the boss in yet, but... So then do you want to hit the hardy? This guy's coming for me, though. I don't want poison two on me. So I can move two. Yeah, and then hit hardy. I'll hit the other heart. Oh, you don't want that. Yeah, I'm going to run. Move two. Mm-hmm. That leaves me two decks. Well, the pup will block him anyways. Oh, would he? Well, not there. No, not there. Not there, but there, he, uh, if you go up, he will. Go up one more, and the pup will block him. Okay. Because he'll go one, two, sure. and he's first. So two. I have two decks. Okay. Let's roll two defense die. Or you roll one attack and one hope attack, to get one, one through. One attack, one defense, I guess, but then it leaves me really open. Oh. Two. But so only it's one. One, of course, because of Hardy. And a bone. And a bone. That's it for you? Yep. Okay, I will heal myself for one. If you can heal you heal for, me for one. one at the start of my yeah. turn using my innate. So we don't want the boss? Because I can't do anything. Well, you gotta take some guys off the board. Like, we just gotta do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll can't, one can't defense in three. I don't wanna roll that on him. So. And that one is not lockable. Yeah. Okay, so four. Oh, I only hit him for one, anyways. Oh, okay. And I got. Okay, so this is not terrible. So I hit him for one. I have two bones, which I will right now use to heal you for one. Okay, sweet. Okay. So that's you? Yep. This guy going for me right here. Beside him. Three. Two. two. Uh, one block. One gets through. And he'll inspire. This guy. A pup to go right away. Giving so him two die? An extra die. Okay. Two. One so block. One, one gets through. Okay. Down to three health. Okay. And the poison guy is trying to get to the weakest, which there, is you, uh, but he can get to no, me no, now. No. It's just the only spot to attack. Okay. So he's actually going to work his way up okay. to that spot. So then I got to get him out. All right, end of the round. Mold Mesh. Boss is here. So eight health. Rolls two attack dice and his little special die. Four. That is not eight. One off. Uh, he's going, trying to go in slot one, but that's taken, so he'll jump into slot two because he's melee. He can move diagonally, and he's got Frenzy 2, Retreat, and Shrouded. We know all about those. And 6, he automatically goes at the top of the queue, actually. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And I don't remember. We're at the end of the round, Yeah, anyway. yeah. So it will be his turn. So once. it's going around 5? Yep. Okay. So starting with him. So he's going to come to me. Yep. Bing, bang. Okay. Okay. 
Yep, I two attack shares. dice. Whenever if he rolls no bones, he'll be re-rolling his attack dice. Yeah. Adding them in. Oh my god. All right, so there's no bones, so here we go. Four. This is gonna take me out. Oh, he only gets. To, oh, he doesn't so get to keep it going. Two goes through. No, it's only. Oh, okay. Points. So two goes through. Yep. Two are blocked. Yep. And then, sorry, that symbol did what? Uh, it is silver hide. Molmesh cannot take damage from attack dice until his next turn. Of course. But we have other ways of hitting him, so. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna put poison on him. Sure. Hopefully, <laughs> he doesn't go to three health though, and then it disappears, and that poison's gone. True. So we have to strategically do that. Okay. Uh, you are next. Heal one. Yep. All right. Can't get to him, so I have to get rid of this guy. But I can only do one on him. Or do you lash or get rid of the pup? No. I oh, get yeah, it if you get. Be, yeah, this hardy guy's a really good guy. Pup though is somebody off the board, less attack dice, I guess. Yeah. Let me just roll one. Uh. Four. Uh, so he has four health left on the the hardy guy, the kobold fanatic. So I can get one off him. I have no other way to do anything each turn. So it's just like, but next turn he'll lose one automatically. I just mm -hmm. want to speed him up, get him off the board. Mm -hmm. But then this guy is like. Trying. But if you inspire him, no. I mean, sorry, sorry. If you use your damage, get rid of it with Hardy, you then can't do Shield Bash, right? Because that's the same Correct. attack. Correct. Yeah, it would just be a waste. So let me go after the pup, I guess. Yeah, let me not use this die yet. Two defense, two attack on the pup. Oh, wow. Okay, so one, two, uh, the pup just gets hit for one. I don't feel like I want to shield lose bash? all my shield bash, including this one. No, no, no. Not worth it to take yeah. out that little pup. I want to use that on the boss man if possible. Yeah. Oh, but then he'll lash me back, which one defense die blocks. Oh, no, sorry, my automatic blocks that. Yes, 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 and you have a bone in there. Uh, that was from him. Oh, is this his, him hitting you or you? No, no, that was me. Yeah, hitting. this is yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yes, yes, whoa. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay, <laughs> uh, your turn. So I'll heal one. one. Yep. All right, so I can't attack the attack boss. Attack dice won't hit him. But, but I, I mean, could. the bones can still happen. So I'm going to roll that. Roll defense I got a defense. And I'm going to roll two attack, hoping for bones, I guess. Yep, you don't have to use them. Okay, so poison I got three. poison three, which is beautiful. Okay, so that is spent and puts a poison three Do you have a poison on, on him, If that exists. Yeah, right here. I got it, I got it. You got it? Okay, and then these two attack. They don't do anything because I can't actually attack him, but poison three. No juice. bones, though, you got? No. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. Well, that's the best I could have rolled on that. Now well, this guy's gonna go attack me for three. Ugh. Three. Uh, so, so block. Two. Yeah, we'll toss this one. Yeah. Sure, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, then he inspires the pup to roll two attack dice, attacking me. Three. Really? So one gets through. Wow. And the poison bog frog just kind of stays there, right? Because he's got no one to attack. Correct. So he just hangs so, out. So, yeah. All right. So new round. It's it's, it's fatigue time. Yes. So fatigue we're all time. gonna take a true damage at the start. I wish I had that guy for one more. All right. Uh, now we go with Molmesh. Yep. So he's Ooh. rolling. He takes three damage first. Uh, yes. One, two, three. He obviously isn't three HP or lower at the start of his turn. 
No matter what order we do that. And then in. we turn that to a two. Perfect. Okay. And he's going to roll two die against me and his die. Yep. Hopefully he doesn't roll the attack thing. But moving guys up, <sighs> he rolled it. Wow. And he hit me for three, but I have one shield so just for two. Dang. That's not good. I need you to Dang. die there to get out of my way so I can kill him. Sorry. Well, so we can't get... even attack him this round. Well, attack dice don't hit him. The start of his next turn, we can do the check before poison, which is sweet. Then he takes two. Well, he would be at three. Is it under three? Oh, he'll take this at the start of turn, actually. So we would take that at the start of turn. So we go down to three. Then he takes two. Then he'll do his check, and he leaves the board. And then comes back at full health? Yep. Oh. Yeah, so that poison die was wasted. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I can't get in there to shield well, bash. We, oh, yeah. And I don't have anything that's not so. attack. Well, if I rolled three, I could... Kneel jab him? Yeah, I'd have to roll three bones. Good luck to me. But it's your turn anyway, so I guess heal one. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, being trapped in here, it's, it's, yeah, we need to both be on both sides of them. Okay, uh, let's see here. I mean, if we can get all the enemies off the board, it's, he's not so bad. But still. Okay, let's go. Three defense die. Oh, sorry. Oh, these all keep disappearing. <laughs> sorry. Okay, three defense die. One attack on the puppy. Or do you do Hardy? Pup's gonna die after. Oh, yes. He's only gonna take one more turn. Uh, but yeah, he still will attack me for two dice. Oh, so bad. Yeah, let's go after Hardy guy. Or you do Pup, I don't know, but then you're gonna still get three more attacks from Hardy guy. Yeah, let's go Hardy guy. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have my four, uh, so the attack hits him for sure. That's good, so you only will have one more attack. Okay, but hold on. So I got my benevolence, which is, uh, heal, pick it for two HP, also add two defense, uh, add a two defense dice whose active slot. I am Wow, that's going pretty to good. do that. Yeah. Defense die and heal and two. two. heal, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, that is me. Okay, I'll heal one. So, four decks. I have one defense, three attack. Looking for bones. <laughs> no bones, but, but two shields. Five attack that can't be used. Yeah, awesome. Sucks. Got two <laughs> shields. All right. Sorry. Okay, that's you. Yep. Three... Uh, it's purple. purple. So he's going for three attack on me. Three. Okay. Auto block. Uh, two. Okay. Actually, no. We're gonna do two. Okay. okay. And then. Oh, he. Oh yeah. Inspire. Sorry. And then inspire. Yes. So, so a little puppy. Two die. For two. <laughs> this is so bad to get hit for five dice in a row like this. Three. Three. Auto block. Armor gone, or shield gone. Okay. No health loss. Okay, and that's good. And green. Poison guy still there. doesn't move because there's nowhere to go. Okay, okay, so all of them take a true damage. So this Pop guy's is gone. Uh, this guy's one away. I go down to four. You go down to th two. Ooh. I have two shields. Maybe I can survive and one Malmesh, more. And Mesh, unfortunately, goes down. So at least he'll run away, right? I think uh, if Mulmesh starts his turn 3 HP or fewer, he's removed. So he removes, so he doesn't do an attack at least, but still. That sucks that Poison 3 was wasted. We could do uh, Poison first, which does 2. Reduces to 1. But then he checks his health yep. and says, Hey, I'm at 1 left. Ah, I'm out of here. So he leaves the mat, and we'll throw him over here, and his die comes out. This yellow die is out, and let's go in there. Okay, 
All right, you. Heal one. Ah, uh, yes. This ain't over. If we can get these other baddies off the board, I mean, he's just the one dude rolling two attack. Yeah. We can kind of mess with them. Uh, okay. So I healed up. I now... I just want to hit this guy for one. Like, yeah. that's all I have to do. And then get your defensive stuff ready for boss yeah. man. So... If you miss, I'll hit him, try to hit him for one because I don't want to go for the yeah. poison guy. Oh. And if we can split up, so he's going to come back in in the one slot. So if this is open, he will come here. So if you're here, that's perfect. Because I don't want to be there though right now because this poison two would kill me. Oh, I see. So I need to kill him. But uh, yeah. I mean, it's a one in six chance I will miss on if the attack. If you miss, we'll figure it out. Then. <laughs> I want more bones and defense. Yes. Okay, so I got him. <laughs> For sure, roll my one attack. And purple dies off. He is gone. Five point baddie discard pile. And what else do I got here? So that was used. Yep, uh, bones and shield. Perfect. That's pretty good. Getting ready for that uh, shield bash of oh, 100 to knock him out. Oh, they're going to poison you. Yeah, but whatever. That has to happen. No, it's my turn first. Oh, can you get over and kill him? I could try, but... That's three decks. You don't have, like, one dex. You're trying to roll a two. <laughs> but you do distract him over there. But then you would take the poison Yeah, and then sure. you're going to fight the boss, which is fine, too. Okay, so start of my turn, right? I'll heal one. Are you done? Sorry? Yes. Okay, so can you heal me for one? Yes, yeah, sorry. I was just no, that's okay. That we, we remember this, but we did, right? We did, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you know what I'll do? I'll All use, one needs to just be gone from me. He's dead the next I know. turn. I'll but. use one, two, three decks. I'll just roll one die. That three way. Two, that's amazing. One. It's a one. That's okay. So he's down to one health. He's going to. He'll be off the board next turn. So his turn, he's going to poison two me, which is only going to take off one. So actually, it's not terrible. Yeah, you're fine. You have three okay. health. So I might get a shot on the boss. Okay. Okay. So then he went. Yeah. End of the thing. Dude's coming back at number one. Eight health again. That's so frustrating. In the melee spot here. And he goes at the top of the queue because he's a tyrant. Okay. So start around, everyone's going to lose one. Yep. One true he's damage because we're in a fatigue round. Sorry. You're down to two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh and boss is going to attack me, which I guess is okay. Maybe I'll take one for the team here. Maybe you try to roll that this time. Maybe you won't roll that. Uh, so He's attacking me. He checked his health. He's not 3 HP or less. Attacking you? Yeah, because I'm the weakest. Oh, man. That's fine. I can take one for the team. Oh, so, that's good. And then oh, I have two shields. Oh, sorry. He re-rolls. So three you're taking. So I have two shields. I take one and I'm dead, right? Oh, no, I'll be dead you on my turn. You have one health left. I'll be dead on my turn, but... All right, so he is gone. Now my turn. I heal one. And you can ha hit him. Well, what was that, actually? Uh, that is all friendly units. Oh, there's none. Oh, which are none. That's gone. <laughs> but it's like a chance, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So... I can roll one defense dice. I have two in the active slot. I will actually... Should I pull one out? No. I can roll this. I just need a bones. Yeah, because you can shield bash him, right? But also attack dice are good right now. Yeah, because while you can get the attack in. Yeah, let's... Is there a bone on this? Yeah, there's one. Oh, well, I'll roll. If I get a bone, I can shield bash for a bunch. Might get some attack. So two attack, one defense, one confidence die. Okay. No bones, uh, but... I can put this back where it is. I'll throw one defense up there and two attack. Not the craziest, but... All right, now your go. So I heal one, lose two, and I'm dead. Yeah, so you, yeah, you can heal first, but then yeah, two gets through. Womp womp. You're on your own, my friend. Sorry. Sweet. Okay. Now, end of the round. So no one's coming in. Uh, we each take 
on his true damage yep. because of fatigue rounds. He's going to go first. Well, of course, he gets no bones. I can't attack him with attack dice. And, oh, wow. Five. Five? But you have some shields. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I don't take any, but all these nice... your shield bashes. Oh, so crap. Start of my turn, I heal one. Okay. Now, how do we do One, this? two, three, four. He has four, but you can't attack him. Yeah, attack dice don't do anything. And you, if you are going to miss the shield bash, you have to not hit him. Yeah, I know, obviously, but I, I can set it up. So I'm going to roll my confidence dice, three attack dice, four dex. Oh, he'd leave anyways, because he'll go down to three in fatigue. Okay, so I have to get he a bones to, here yeah. and then try to whack him, because I just need to hit him for three, so he loses one at the starting yeah, dice. Yeah. No bones, oh. of course. Wow. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay. So mm, that was me. Mm -hmm. End of the round. Start of new round. Each lose one. Start of his. He checks. He says, I'm out. And I will see that with him. At least you got a heal. So he jumps off the mat. Your then turn. I heal. Yep. I can still roll dice. Defense at least. Uh, yeah. But they're all locked. I am actually going to take two of them away. Actually. Going for bones and shields? Yeah, all of them. I'm going to take all of them out of the slot and try to get something better than all those crappy ones. Okay, there's the bones. There's a bone and some more shields. Some ones. So, he comes back in. Like, really? What is that? Only twos. There's two twos on here. Should I leave it at the one and put it in there? One, two, three, four. I could shield bash him. No. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. okay. So he comes back for eight. Before we do that. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Let's not do that. Okay. So he comes back in for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the one slot. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, now we both take a damage. Start the round. And he goes, rolling his die. Hopefully he gets the bones on the first one. Yes. yes. He does. And you can so attack I him. I auto block. And his friendlies get the crap, but perfect. it doesn't matter. Perfect. That is That's perfect. That's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah. Okay. Now you heal one. I heal. I heal one. All right. Now, uh, let's go. I can roll one defense. This die. And, and two, two attack. attack. Oh, okay. So, bones. Two damage. That leaves him with five left, right? Yep. So even if he loses one, I'm yep, still good. you're good. Okay. Uh, bones on this die. This die is just crapping all over me. One, two, three. Mm. I you could have hit him for one more. I could actually spend the three and, and yeah, and re-rolled one of those attack die, but it's... No, it's yeah. fine. I'd rather you shield bash, right? Yeah, I think so. Because right now you'd only shield bash for three? Yeah. No, yeah. It's, not, it's dangerous. I can't do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's me. Yep. New round. Each lose one. He's going to go. It's not at three health. Uh, he rerolls, okay. but I can still attack him. Four. So four. Uh, one, two, three. And lose one. Okay. All right. Then my go, I heal one. Go back up to four health. And then <laughs> can roll three defense. Yeah, three defense die. And I'll roll my confidence die. I'll hopefully get something I need just to hit him for three total. I already have the bones ready for shield bash. I just have to get three shields. Two shields. Two shields out of four dice possible to get some shields on. 
it. Oh, you wow, did it. Oh, enough. my gosh. Oh, my that is Rolls, man. Rolls. And the funny thing is, I could do Shield Shock, whatever. That uh, hits him. I think Shield Shock can be done. Shield Bash also picks its non tyrant target is stunned, so that's pointless. I'll just spend the two. These will shift down to the left. I'll spend all three of these. Uh, to do one more. Sorry, yeah, one more. Yep. So he's down to one health left. Yep, so he'll lose that at the beginning of the fatigue. Yes. All right, so that's exhausted. That's exhausted. That's gone. And then that's me. Fatigue rounds. Next one. Boom and boom. I'm still alive. He is not. And that is Mulmish down. Wow. We win. I don't think I could have done that. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. It's all you. <laughs> I got those dice locked, right? That's what I was trying to do the whole time. Yeah. Feels like cheating when I get the regen and the shield every every attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I was a little worried there getting that hardy guy hit me for three and then the lash or the inspire on the lashback guy was hitting for two. Like, so it was five attack dice just in a row kept yeah. smashing me. Yeah, and kept using up all the shields that you're trying to save. Yeah, which yeah. that's yeah, that's the thing, right? You get stuck in that loop and you just hope to them to roll some bones and miss you for one turn, so then you have that relief. But yeah, that's wow. a playthrough of too many bones. That's typically how it works. You pick a tyrant, you play through a bunch of encounters, depends on what the tyrant says. It might be longer amount of encounters, might be more progress points needed. It could be ten progress points or like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where I believe this is 10, this is 6. So that's all the different ones that are like, can be much longer. You can have a longer play through the evening. But we are definitely going to play more of these. We're going to pick some other Tyrants, try some different gear locks, show you those. They, all the gear locks are unique. They all play completely different. And after we played the course set a bunch, doing a bunch of uh, single Tyrant encounters, we're going to then jump into the Age of Tyranny and do a campaign. That Age of Tyranny box. We'll unbox that on the channel. That will give you... More encounter cards, more day one to three encounters, gives you some campaign cards, and gives you a map to save your progress on your campaign. But it basically strings together a bunch of tyrants in a longer campaign, so we can do some more leveling up of dice to build our guys out. We can get some boons and scars that can hurt or help us along the way, and we'll do one of those campaigns once we feel we're ready. So we're going to play a bunch of these uh, single tyrant encounters. So please let us know if we mess up anything to help us prepare for that giant campaign to make sure we have the rules 100% down pat. We're just practicing with picket, practicing with patches now, but we'll try the other ones. And we also have Gilly and Nugget, which we will unbox on the channel shortly after we play a few more times with the core set characters. And then we will test those out, see how they are. And then we'll pick our two we're going to jump into the, the campaign with. We also might have some friends join us for more than two gear locks. We might play some three and four if we can get some friends roped in here and teach them how these gear locks work and teach them the game so that we can show you guys more than just two gear locks playing and two players. Maybe we can get three or four going. So definitely stick around the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button if you want to see more Too Many Bones. You want to support the, these videos and help other people find them on YouTube. And like I said, leave comments below. Let us know if we mess up any rules. And if you can let us know which gear lock or tyrant we should play next, uh, yeah, throw them down in the comments below. We'll kind of tally it up, figure out what gear lock to play next. And then maybe we'll do that one if we see the comments in time before we start our next one. Uh, but either way, it'll help us on a future one. So that's it. I'm Rob. This is Melanie. And we're out. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.